beloved one, I hope you are doing well. I want us to take a short reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 127. It says, if God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep. Now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You were blessed son. Stay blessed. When we come before him, it is because we are aware of our inadequacy. So he becomes the Lord of the service. There is a system of coordination, of course, but he must be allowed to reign supreme. This is the secret. Let me tell you, this is why many people never experience the power of God in church. Because we don't allow him. We come as men of God and want to interrupt him. The ushers come to interrupt him. The worship team comes to interrupt him. But if we can align with him, the reason why you are coming is first before you love because you love God. Second, because you are coming to grow. Thirdly, you expect his power to touch an area of your life. Is that true? Yes. So is, is, is time wasted if you come and commit whatever number of hours you spend here and you cannot leave back with an evidence? Many of you here, this is your first experience. Think how terrible it will be that you left wherever. Some of you are pastors that came to refire your spirit and get an impartation. Some of you are leaders in various places. How could you come and just watch a man talk for a few hours and share the grace and go? It's not only sin, it's wickedness. It's not only sin against God, it is wickedness. Hallelujah. Our job is to make sure you experience God in his entirety. The program was so designed that every face tackles an aspect of your life. And that by the time we are sharing the grace, what escaped praise and worship will not escape the fire of prayer. What escaped the fire of prayer will not escape revelation. You see that? So the programs are designed. We're not religious people trying to advance a man's ministry. God is bigger than that. This is serious business of changing people's lives. Are we together? We're excellent people, but we're not stupid people. When it comes to transformation, I'm not... Um, you can dress well and look well, but the moment it comes to the destinies of men, we must be serious. We must take it seriously because... We are stewards by grace and we must be accountable unto God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm going to speak briefly, um, but I, I want to pray. I just want to pray as I was sitting, I sensed in my spirit that there were people who needed um, a touch of the Holy Spirit. And, and for various reasons, these things happen. This touch can bring deliverance. This touch can bring direction. When the Holy Spirit touches you, um, there are many reasons why he touches you. Sometimes even you who is imparted, you may not know why. But for many people, that is the answer to your prayer. The anointing comes as the answer to your prayer. It is not faith that answers your prayer. Faith connects you to the anointing. It is the anointing that does the job. 
your faith is your conviction faith does not bring results on its own the job of faith is to connect you to the power of god it is the power of god that supplies the possibilities hallelujah so you shouldn't be here having sicknesses having burdens and then we're just preaching and then it's not it's not working in your life so i want to pray for you hallelujah there are families that are represented that deserve the touch of god and um i know that he will bless us he will lift us in the name of jesus christ hallelujah just two things the lord is imparting the spirit of wisdom this is this is what this is what the lord is speaking to me and this is not everyone but that anointing there is a grace there is an unction that is going to come on several people is an unction strange grace for wisdom grace for wisdom supernatural grace for wisdom all the overflows whether one two three doesn't matter where you are um, it, it there are exact impartations that are coming on people right now let me just do that job by the spirit i stretch my hands by the spirit and i command it so now i declare i send an anointing upon the word let the performance of the word be accomplished everywhere inside overflow one overflow two overflow three i command it so in the name of jesus wisdom this is what many of us need in this season is coming upon you that grace that grace wisdom to surmount mountains mountains everywhere there are people following online that grace the angel of his presence is bringing upon your life the hand of god is resting upon you wisdom the spirit of wisdom receive it i know that we're all getting it but there are specific people that this is for you will not escape it once it's for you the word of the lord will look for you will look for you no matter where you are for as long as you are within this vicinity the word of the lord will search for you and that impartation will happen in your spirit in the name of jesus i speak it i command it i decree it as an ordinance in the spirit everyone who must carry this level of grace wisdom wisdom that will bring an end to mountains that stand before you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the second thing that i see the lord imparting is the healing anointing now this doesn't happen all the time but i'm seeing it happen healing anointing the lord wants to bring a new level of the healing anointing in the name of jesus christ there are people that must carry that anointing the lord is saying i have been waiting upon you there are people whose bodies need the touch of the spirit not just you being healed the healing anointing that grace you have seen it in your dreams you have seen it in visions in prayer meetings god has told you but in the name of jesus i activate that dimension in the name of jesus take that anointing take that anointing the healing grace the healing power of jesus the healing power there are some of you who are visitors this is your first time coming but the lord brought you because you need an encounter with that unction in the name of jesus receive receive of that grace let there be a transference of that grace he that dwells in the secret place of the most high Take it half. You reign, you reign, and you reign, you reign, you reign, and okay, you reign, you reign. Hello, Lord. 
I hear in my spirit restoration. 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 This is what God is doing. Restoration. Opportunities. Restoration of anointings. Graces. Graces. Connections. In the name of Jesus. I'm hearing it in the spirit. Restoration. Restoration. God is creating scenarios in people's lives. Recreating it again. Recreating it again by the Spirit of God. Restoration. 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 Make sure you believe it. Restoration. Restoration. Financial restoration. Spiritual restoration. Restoration in career. Opportunities. Relationships. Listen, there are people here, the dimensions of God you used to experience. Something happened and it looked like that portal just closed. I'm hearing in my spirit restoration. Let there be a reopening of those doors. The gate that was open in the spirit that gave you access to that dimension, let it be reopened. Regardless of the reason why it was closed, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let it be opened. Your relationship with the Holy Spirit is the access that you seek. In your relationship with the Holy Spirit is the wisdom that you seek. In your relationship with the Holy Spirit is the power that you seek. In your relationship with the Holy Spirit is the influence. If we will spend half the time we waste around committing to His presence, the pursuit not looking for rema not looking for power not not 
all of these things focusing staying with him there are many prayer warriors that will never find his presence because we have turned it into idolatry there are many fasting giants that may never find him because they are just motions there are many bible study giants that may never find him because we shroud ourselves in activities the power is not in the activities it's in the sincerity of your heart your pursuit it's not in the activities it says and ye shall seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart please sit down if you can a lot is already happening now just allow those under the anointing this is koinonia I like you to be sensitive tonight as I teach. We have begun the year. Expect impartations. Impartations mean that God is doing something. Impartation means that there is a transference. You see that? There is a transference of possibility. And whether you are in any of the overflows, let me tell you truthfully speaking, the only advantage that those inside have over those outside is just the convenience. That, that's it. Spiritually speaking, those things don't make any, there's no difference at all. Doesn't matter what nation, doesn't matter where. It's just our psychology to think we are nearer to the man of God. God can speak to someone in overflow three, smuggling himself somewhere near the wall, nobody knows, and then God just visits him like that. This is the ministry of the Spirit. Hallelujah. I want to teach you something tonight that I really believe with all my heart will grant you access to not only have intimacy with God but it will grant you access to walk in the reality of signs and wonders I will continue to teach these things is my assignment to guide us to help us become spiritual people you don't become a spiritual man by frowning your face you don't become a spiritual man by being a talkative you don't become a spiritual man by show of religion it is a dimension in the spirit you climb to when you are there everything around you knows you are there it's an exact location there is no guess about it hallelujah when god gives a word by now you already know that every time prophecy comes there is always a commitment there is always a commitment hallelujah in overflow one there are two people the power of god is coming on please bring them inside i want to prophesy to them you are here working miracles i worship you I worship you. You are here, wiping every tear. I worship you. Waymaker, waymaker, miracle work on this street, light in the darkness. the word for those people the lord says even the lawful captive shall be delivered even the lawful captive i break the siege of witchcraft there is strange operation of witchcraft 
I command the siege of witchcraft to be broken. In the name of Jesus, even the lawful captives shall be delivered. I will contend with them that contend with you. I will contend with them that contend with you. Even the lawful captives, the siege over your families, the siege is broken right now. The siege is broken. I decree it and I declare it. By the authority of the kingdom, the siege is broken. The siege is broken. The Lord says I should continue prophesying it that the siege is broken. Is broken. I use this as a point of contact to speak to everyone under the sound of my voice. If there is anything sitting on anyone's destiny in the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands and I command in the name of Jesus that every chain that holds the destiny of anyone here, I command that that chain is broken right now in the name of Jesus over your life and over your family. I declare that it's broken in the name of Jesus. Please sit down. sit down just allow me do my mad thing here for a few minutes we'll get back to the word the spirit of death oh death where is thy sting oh grave where is thy victory i shut the mouth of the grave i shut the mouth of the grave why am i prophesying this i shut the mouth of the grave i shut the mouth of the grave I shut the mouth of the grave. I shut the mouth of the grave. Zekoto sheke teke teke nekata. I shut the mouth of the grave. In the name of Jesus, over every family, I shut the mouth of the grave. I shut the mouth of the grave. I shut the mouth of the grave. Listen, let me tell you. Hold on. That's not what I'm teaching. But you see this grave is a spirit. There are people there that can call people who are alive to come and join them. I have a series there and I will teach you death, hell and the grave. I will teach. The, well, we have a lot this year. But you see. This grave you see is not a pit. There are people. It was it not a conversation that was happening in Lazarus and they said, please, let somebody go there. That means someone that is out. That's why I say, oh grave, where is your victory? That the grave can choose a person and say, bring him to join us. I say it again. The mouth of the grave. Sheketo kaskataba. Bekoto seketeriakata. The mouth of the grave is shot over every family, shot over every individual. Hallelujah. Listen, don't mind the physical actors that act. It can be accident, it can be anything. It's a lie. There is a call the grave as a living thing can pick somebody and say let him come and join us i've seen the spirit of death you know that so for me it's not it's not a it's not a mystery at all hallelujah do you know i once saw a vision of someone a real vision i saw the person already buried but in the physical, he was walking happy and ha he didn't reach three months. That person died. In the realm of the spirit, he is already done with. The person is alive, having plans. Whereas the grave has called him. Pray in one minute and shut the mouth of the grave. Pray, don't be afraid. 
Legete Caparusia. Oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? Oh death, oh death, oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? I curse you by the God of heaven. Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? Pray, pray. Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? Pray for your family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold on. Let me talk to that woman. You see this woman? Leave her. She knows why she's coming. Come. I'm looking at this woman and I'm seeing a woman that has already died. It's over with her. This woman I'm seeing. She has been seeing it. Dead men calling her. Calling her in the night. Some of you have seen it. People who have died. That's the grave calling you. Pray again and say I reject that call. I reject that call. Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? We challenge the gates of the grave. We challenge the gates of the grave. We challenge the gates of the grave. Hallelujah. Please sit down. Just help those under the anointing. Hallelujah. This, this is what should be when you come into the presence of God. Burdens lifted, plagues stopped, not time wasted. Not time wasted. Only God knows how many obituaries were averted just by having access to intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Don't live your life anyhow becoming a victim of the wickedness. Let me teach you something. A am I boring you? Am I wasting your time? Next time you have a dream and you see dead people calling you, don't get up and just jot it down. Whether it is raining or not, if you have to cancel your job for that day, is it not when you are alive you go for work? If you get up and see dead people where I don't care whether it's your own mother or father, once you are dead, it's gone. The familiar spirits use the face of individuals. Some of them can be our loved ones. They come and they dine with you. There are encounters. There are people who have died in Christ. They are called the spirits of just men made perfect. I have encountered some of them. But this one is death calling you, calling your children. Sit down, allow the devil come and destroy you. That's what happens to people. They don't do anything about it. And you see, and because they don't act, one day you find out that you just get up. Whereas it was concluded. Remember the book of Job. They were discussing in heaven and the man was living happily. And in one day, everything happened. That an entity has left this realm does not mean it has stopped functioning. This realm is not the only realm where people function. There are powers that operate. They can go out of this realm and call people. Jesus knew that principle. That's why he stood and called Lazarus back. This is how to be spiritual. Not just for yourself, to help other people. 
Now with this knowledge, God can reveal to you something the devil wants to do about somebody because you know what to do about it. You don't sit down and it happens and say, hey, I saw it all. You stop it. This grave you see, read what Solomon said about it in the book of Proverbs. It can never say enough. This grave, it keeps opening. Hell and enlarge itself. Opens, receive people. Finds young people. Just when people are at the prime of their life, that devil comes from wherever. Don't ever make death look like a mystery. It is as predictable a spirit as sickness. Innocent people plan their lives. I don't know why I started talking about this. Plan their lives and do all. Do you know when the devil finds out that there's nothing he can do with your life? He can't make you live God. He can't make you this. The next plot is to kill you. Whether or not you die in Christ or not, at least you are dissociated from your body. It's still a plus for him. Make sure you insist that you are here for a long time. There is work to be done. Give birth to children and before the ch children are still young, you die and leave them. And leave them in the hands of wicked people. It's not to make you afraid. It's to let you know that death can eat us. It attempts, death is boastful. He said, oh death, where is your victory? It's important to go where you know God is. You don't know when your word and your deliverance. When, when, when you say invite people, it's not because a man of God is looking for fame. Somebody is the answer to a family that the devil is about to crash. Just coming to stand in the cold and that's the end of it. Hallelujah. Death. We're ending that plague. You can live long, you can live strong by choice and with confidence. I choose life. You choose life for yourself. Choose life for your children. If they are too small to choose, your decision can cover for them until they get to the age of discretion. Don't sit down and allow the devil say that this one is small. You see how the devil kills children as much as he kills people. Hallelujah. Let's try to discuss something. Thank you so much. For those of you who are coming for the first time, this is Koinonia. This is Koinonia. First John. We are looking at the epistle of John. I want to share a few things about the spirit life. God is helping us to build capacity and he's helping us to become spiritual people. And part of the, the parameters for measuring spirituality, like I've taught us, is first our conformity to the image of the Christ and then second our comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom. But then there is a dimension of it that I want to introduce to us tonight. And is a dimension where Christ is seated at the heart of every individual. And I'm not just talking of born again. Born again is a decision, is a willingness to embrace the Lordship of Christ. But there is a journey that a believer must follow to get to a point where Christ is experientially seated in his heart. That place is the place of power. That place is the place of authority. That is the place where Satan, death, hell and the grave can come to you and go back because they do not have anything in you. There is a realm of immunity. I'm trusting God that we rise as believers to dimensions where we no longer are the receptors of these basic things of the kingdom, but we become the distributors of this reality. Is that true? First John chapter 2 and verse 15 a popular scripture here i want us to examine it just listen to me carefully first john chapter 2 thank you jesus first john chapter 2 first john chapter 2 verse 15 
the Holy Spirit is speaking to me again and I will bring laughter to her family and I will bring laughter to her family I will bring laughter you will hear again the sound of laughter the sound of melody you will hear the sound of laughter you will hear the sound of laughter that's what the Spirit of the Lord is saying you will hear the sound of laughter you will hear the sound of laughter love not the world neither the things that are in the world please follow me carefully if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him verse 16 for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes the pride of life is not of the father but is of the world 17 and the world passeth away and the lost thereof but he that doeth the will of god abideth forever go back to verse 15 there is a journey into what we call carnality carnality is not um it's not necessarily a bad word it's just a description of a state please listen carefully when we say a man is carnal it's not supposed to be an insult are we together the bible says for to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace so the bible gives us the progression of carnality carnality is not materialism carnality leads to materialism are we together carnality is not unrighteousness carnality leads to unrighteousness listen very carefully and this is how the journey starts number one love not the world the word world there is the world system the governing system the system of activities that are in the world it's not just talking about um, um it's not just talking about the cosmos alone you see that it's not just the word cosmos like the social system of the world alone but it also has an extension is the word aeon the the thinking pattern the mentality the system of operation the modus operandi that comes with the world system listen it says love not the world so that is the foundation that's how believers or people become carnal the starting point of carnality is an attachment an attachment to the system listen not receiving cars and houses that's not carnality not prosperity not poverty no that, that's not what i'm talking about many people have taught carnality from a very legalistic and religious standpoint and have robbed people of enjoying the blessings of god that's not what i'm talking about at all but then he says the word there is eros love attachment attachment so the first thing is that when a believer is about to um, begin to walk with God the first dimension of the workings of the spirit is to be able to culture and pull your attachment to this system and the appetites in this system you can have things but when they have you it's called carnality the mistake of the rich fool was not his possession he said my soul find rest that was his mistake not not the abundance but that the basis for his rest was in the supposed acquisition of those things are we together now so the bible says love not the world is a warning is a warning that if you want to be spiritual do not be attached that means every one of us by default born of a woman there is a probability to being attached with this system the flamboyancy that is associated with this system their their desires and their lusts and their appetites that this is something that by default we can become victims of then he moves further and says neither the things that means it is possible that you hate the world and all of that but the things that are there you can be attached to them 
you see but let me tell you forget about walking with God when the things of this world are glued to you the Bible we're, we're, we're still on that journey it says if any man loves the world that means he gives you a little test like saying if any man has a pounding headache there are signs that that man probably has malaria so he's saying that you can check the depth of your love for the, the love of God that is at work in you you can easily check it by your attachment your attachment the same way you check your temperature your pressure and all of these things that you can check that love dimension and then it categorizes them into three it says all that is in the world the next verse 16 for all that is in the world can be categorized into three number one he calls it the lust of the flesh the limitations that come to you by reason of wearing a human body if you did not possess a body there are certain things that cannot happen to you but now because you sustain a material body that there are side effects to having this body are we together now and he's saying that you must walk with the holy spirit to culture the attachment that can happen to things by reason of wearing a body and then the second he says the lust of the eyes the limitations that come upon your life on the strength of the things you see how many of you know that the bible says the eye is the light of the body there are things if you did not have capacity to see they will not be planted in your heart the word imagination comes from the word image and that's how we think we think in pictures so you your 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 eyes creates a perception and it latches onto your heart and then it begins to be the basis of your not responding to the impulses of the spirit are we together now the lust of the eyes and then the third is called the pride of life you've heard me teach it the pride of life is different from pride you cannot have the pride of life until you have obvious achievements you can have pride whether or not there is anything that has been achieved but the pride of life is the vain glory and the self glorification that is a derivative of obvious achievements like Nebuchadnezzar having built Babylon he said make me a 90 feet gold of my stature and that at the sound of all the music instruments let all men bow that's the pride of life the pride of life is what happened to Lucifer I will exalt myself above the stars of God I will be like the most high until he was charged with iniquity are we together now and so he's saying that if you can manage the effect and the influences of these temptations in your life that the love of the father is in you and that this will culminate into a life that is spiritual listen the depth to which the power of god flows through you all these miracles these signs and wonders that you see they don't just happen because hands are laid please i, I like us let's let's be um please come david Dam. let's let's not make a fool of ourselves here there is a limit to which you can walk in the anointing just by laying on of hands there are dimensions you have to dig that spiritual well by yourself a track record that is known by principalities and powers and angels and all the forces in the heavens you don't just speak and then god it looks like god owes your word attention no sir no sir for i am a man under authority and the authority recognizes my submission and my loyalty and on the strength of my submission i say to one go and he goes i say to another come it's not my eloquence it is the authority and my degree of submission to that authority are we together now so he says love not the world brothers and sisters let me tell you thank you David. this is the problem that jesus came to solve you see if you have an encounter with jesus listen He's not going to ask you whether you believe in the Old or New Testament. That, that is nonsense. Jesus is not going to ask you all those things. Jesus is not going to ask you and say, which part of the Ten Commandments did you keep or which law? Or, no, no, no. He's going to ask you one question. Just one question. His emphasis is to see whether you are seated 
at the throne of your own heart or he's seated at the throne of your own heart it's called Christ's self-centeredness and self-centeredness Christ-centeredness is when Christ is the epicenter the pivot of your life this is what Jesus came to give us it is from the standpoint of that state that everything you have can profit you God so designed that you can acquire things without Christ being at the center of your heart but that becomes your undoing because they will destroy you and wreck your life brothers and sisters I don't care how many hours you pray I don't care how many Bible study concordances you have I don't care how many services you have per week if you have not assumed a posture in the spirit where Christ is at the epicenter of your heart you are carnal period period you are as carnal as the word carnal it's true it's not an insult it's a description it's a state of a believer you are spiritual not just to the degree to which you pray in tongues you are spiritual not just to the degree to which you access revelation by diligence you can commit your mind and your spirit to access light without being spiritual theologians have spent years i mean remember the scribes and the pharisees they were carnal yet they had the five books of moses of heart so knowing the scripture by head it's not necessarily a proof of spirituality it can be helpful provided Christ is at the center of your heart the foundation for a life of greatness listen the foundation for a life of the miraculous any man and woman of God you see around the earth that God is using mightily to do great things carrying and hosting the presence of God that individual has true sacrifice come to a point where Christ is at the epicenter of their lives not money not fame not cars not houses are we together not wife not husband not marriage that does not mean you are unconnected to these things but that Christ sitting in your heart now gives value whatever comes comes under his authority if you don't get this this is this is this is power 101 if you don't get this thing forget about spiritual power there are fasting giants who fast with them they are getting lean but they are still sitting on the throne of their heart no side won't work that way christ must become the center of your life and you can know your attachment your attachment to things your attachment to this system Is God helping us? When your life becomes Christ-centered, your life will speak particular languages. Number one, thy will be done. Thy will be done is the language of men and women who have crucified flesh and self and that Christ is entirely allowed to be glorified in their lives number two that all that is done in and through your life becomes to reveal jesus the revelation of jesus becomes the obsession of your life not the revelation of your prestige not the revelation of your educational prowess not the revelation of oratory and money and power and influence and all of these things the revelation of jesus in and through your life this is a language that is a commitment from a life that Christ is at the center. Number three, that any and all that you do becomes for his glory. The Lord's prayer, for thine is the kingdom, the power and glory. Thine is the kingdom. I receive all of the blessings, but yours is the kingdom. Yours is the power. Yours is the glory. The Bible says, and they glorified God in me. Do you know, listen, do you know the reason why the more I 
by the grace of God, keep learning about God. I am seeing why it is hard. Come, David Dam. Why it is hard for many people to get the attention of God and to be committed with certain things. Remember my miracle service message last Friday? Can God trust you? That's a powerful message. Go and sit down and listen to it. Because what God gives you is a measure of his trust for you. It's, it's as simple as that. If there are dimensions you are praying about and say, Lord, lift me up, take me high. And God says, no way. Stop praying and saying, oh God, ask, Lord, what is it in me that is the resistance? What is in anointing that God cannot give you? What is in prosperity that God cannot give you? Mike shared a very powerful scripture here that he that did not spare his son but offered him freely shall he not much more with him give us all things but God is not a fool just because he said I will give you all things does not mean you just say come and carry all things he will vet your heart until he finds himself there are we together think about the things that we pursue just think for a moment list them in your mind you don't have to chorus them but list them money career power anointing revelation children wife husband house whatever it is cars and all of that none of these things in themselves destroy but when they come to you the state of your heart can make them evil or good are we together now yes do you know the foundation for jealousy listen the foundation for envy backbiting and all of these things is one word self 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 it is because i want to give a perception that i am a big man so if somebody calls me Joshua Selman I now say where is the apostle you didn't add it you see that my ego resonated with something that is locked up within me and I react so I say this this guy you are not you are disrespecting me you are trying to say I'm not anointed you see that and this is our lives on earth are it's like an, an action film people acting out the level of flesh and self and carnality sometimes we call it spirituality but it's really carnality really carnality love not the world brothers and sisters i show you a secret to rest this is where high blood pressure comes from hello hello this is where high blood pressure ask the doctors they will tell you self-inflicted worrying my ego is on the line see right my ego is on the line if this thing is not done i prophesy to david dam if that word does not come to pass they will now think i'm not an accurate man of god so my ego is on the line i'm not desirous of the prophecy to happen because i want to see his life change i am more concerned about the validation of my anointing than his own change that's the problem the scribes and the pharisees had it was not healing they would not have a problem if it happened through their hands but the fact that it didn't happen through their hands they just found an excuse and say madam don't get healing on sunday and jesus said what are you saying if your donkey falls inside a well on sunday will you leave it there and say i'll come back on monday you like money and you are talking this woman her, her health is more than your own donkey if your donkey falls inside a well won't you go and get it hypocrites jesus told them do you know if i can bring every one of us to a point where nothing in this life can take the place of christ i have brought you to a place is a level in the spirit where you will watch satan like this and he will watch you like the gulf that separated the rich man and abraham this is how you will stand truly speaking this is what empowers satan in our lives you know i've taught this here in this house comes when satan comes satan is not as accurate as we think he is listen when he comes he wants to know what is in your heart and the way he will know it is by touching areas in your life at random if he touches your relationship and you don't react he says it doesn't mean 
anything to you he touches money that's the one that's the area he gets for many of us he just touches your your hundred naira disappears and say no way we are fasting in this house who can and the devil says that's it that's it you think because you mention fasting god is glorified no that fasting is a is a revenge it's an emotional revenge mission your anger and your carnality is making you use a spiritual cover but it's still carnality and you put everyone under pressure nobody is eating six to six whoever did this and that and then the devil says that's it and let me tell you what he will do he will sit on your finances and rubbish your life because he knows that that is the area in your life that would distract your prayer life distract he doesn't have to stop you from praying studying the bible it's too hard he just comes to the center of your heart and touches one thing that will boomerang in every other area of your life think how hard it is for him to try to stop your prayer life stop your word life destroy your husband destroy your wife destroy your relay it's too hard so he comes to your heart because whatever is in your heart is the control center truly of your destiny you see that all of a sudden they withhold your salary for two months and a man who was a gentle loving godly sincere born again committed church worker all of a sudden becomes a wild animal in two months because the devil got it there so instead of him saying pastor alpha beat your wife beat your children beat your relatives destroy your spiritual life he just comes and says, pastor alpha what is that one area that christ is not yet lord over when he captures it it will create all the effects that he wants satan cometh to me what is he looking for something that gives him an attachment and let me tell you that thing is what we call lost an attachment i hope you like what i'm, pre I'm preaching this is a deliverance message yes it is yes it is yes it is i watch do you know brothers and sisters kai whatever god did to me may he do it to you truly speaking i say it with all humility my life is a free life i am i will be i will be lying if i tell you it was all my effort i think there is something about the sovereign power of god maybe it's an election of grace he did it but the moment hold my hands david down another person come and make a come these are the luggages we carry one other person the ladies i don't know how you are going to hold me find a way of holding come 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 we're acting something here hold anybody come and hold my hand here come can they hold you she's afraid of holding me she wants to hold david down now watch this this is a prayer warrior i'm showing you your spirit man you are a prayer warrior you are a fasting giant you are a word addict but you are carrying these are the cares jesus is begging that you give him that we are refusing how old are you i'm 30 you mean it i thought you were 42 this is the lord because a broken a broken uh, what spirit can dry the physical bones and it will show on your face so this guy is carrying all this load do you think satan is so foolish to allow this load fall off you with the advantage he's getting do you know how satan ties them he doesn't use a rope he uses your heart that's what is there this is how to be spiritual you come to a point where you say lord i love you but these things are occupying my heart and lord i'm not irresponsible but then you have to become lord of my life genuinely i am too attached i can't sleep i sleep for one hour per day because i'm thinking about money a man can have nothing except it is given and you let go the issue of the job the devil will now deceive you and say you better be responsible if you don't think about it it won't come and he said no jesus i hand it over to you hallelujah this is the way of the cross you are getting free you too you are strange because you are now feeling lighter ah, now all of a sudden you could pray before you go to pray after five minutes you stop praying on your own and you are thinking but now you could stretch for one hour two hours you are becoming lighter and then all of a sudden this one is a lady hallelujah are we together 
this is a lady or, or a, a, a gentle it can mean anybody it doesn't have to be lady or a, a, whatever Lord Jesus I must make it happen my way and God is saying you will wear yourself to death Lord age is not on my side is it that you are not seeing and God is saying I am Lord of all if I don't give you anything it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow and he said Lord I've been looking at this lady's picture I can't even pray and God says I will, if you think I'm going to talk to you about that lady you are joking you better talk to me leave this lady and said God I want to but this lady she has become an idol maybe the lady yes it's true that's the name it's called idolatry let's call it what it is she has become an idol not because she's bad are you getting what i'm saying now but because she's doing something to your heart and it's affecting your relationship with god so god is going to say lay it down lay it down does not mean leave her lay it down means be willing to leave her hi and you say oh god no now how can i leave this guy this is my 11th relationship and while you are talking all that nonsense god doesn't say anything he allows you then you now cry, cry one night, lie down, roll, and let it go. Your spiritual life. You notice that the moment you surrender, something lives in you. The more you die, you can trace that this came alive because of this that went down. You see that? Love not the world. Love not the world. This one is ministry. No, I must shine. My colleagues started ministry before me, and I mean, I must do ministry. This, this is a lot of, especially some of us that have the grace of God upon our lives. No, I must start the prayer group or the church or the koinonia or whatever it is. And God says, Look, calm down. For three months, you are not holding any meetings. Oh God, my whole reputation was on this small fellowship. Now you're asking me to close it so that they won't respect me again. God said, That's exactly what I was trying to show you. It was never about the prayer meeting. It was about you trying to use spirituality to build an ambition. So lay it down. You lay it down and then your encounters that stop resumes. Never will it resume. Because you are, you are passionate about hearing something. So that when they gather you say, okay, ladies and gentlemen, I just came back from the throne. And God said, you won't use me like that. Is God speaking to us? by the time you lay these things down let me show you the moment you focus on christ all of you come closer i'm focusing on christ look at what is happening physically are you seeing this my focus is on him and i turn back and find out so the goal was never to take them away from me the goal was to be the epicenter of my life now watch this whereas before i was the maintainer of them now he's the maintainer so anytime he says give the car after all lord is it not by your mercy it came take it not oh god this voice if it's you let my window share all these all these these things we do are proofs of carnality i was sharing with the leaders somebody called me to confirm whether it was god that spoke to him to send fifty thousand to somebody and i asked him i said if that god told you somebody is supposed to send money to you will you ask to confirm and say lord is it you it's carnality it's the same thing we are saying from my heart to the heavens jesus be the center it's all about you yes it's all about you from my heart to the heavens jesus be the center prosper financially because of their attachment to money their attachment obsession obsession if they are passing and they smell money they turn their direction and God says no way it doesn't work that way the proof that you are not attached to anything is your willingness to let it go the genuineness anything you cannot let go you are attached to it yes sir yes sir Oh, I'm so blessed hearing this message myself. Are we together? I am shocked at how many of us are shortchanging the power of God in our lives through our attachment to things. 
How about pastors attached to things, titles, attached to all of them? <laughs> Love not the world. This is how to be spiritual. You are giving yourself space to host his glory. Lord, I thank you. I'm trusting you to get married. And Lord says, all right, I will direct you. Say, no, Lord, this is, this is the lady, this is the guy I must marry. If you are the one, it must be this. And God says, that's not the way it works. Thy will be done. It is for your glory. Your thoughts are higher than my thoughts. Your ways are higher than my ways. I give you all the praise. That's a spiritual man. Lord, this is the business I want to do. I thank you. I have passion for it. But Lord, I am totally submitted to your will. That which you want is what I will do. Hmm. That's the language of spiritual people. You see what God is doing in this ministry? It is because it is not my ministry. If it's my ministry, I would have been far older than I look now. Think how you think how I'll have to beg you and say, please don't be angry. Pastor Femi, come next Sunday. No. Please, if you're a pastor and you are giving yourself that headache, please come to the fountain where great men can rest. There is a Sabbath where he takes over your life, your ministry, and all that concerns you. A man can receive nothing except it is given to him born this into your spirit you cannot have naira and kobo except the majesty opens the heavens over you you cannot have any idea until he gives to you you can invent your ways of doing things and weep and suffer and struggle that's why we don't give you count offering and count five naira you eat puff puff one thousand took another drink one thousand or wine are we together now and then you come before god and squeeze 10 naira and you are smiling now all shall wait and god is looking at your heart look what jesus did in the church he came and stood and saw what people were giving it was a reflection of their attachment it wasn't the money he saw a woman who had all do you know why jesus was touched because she really didn't know who he was if she had known him it would be hypocrisy because he was there she just came that means she was doing it unsupervised it was what she would do whoever this god is of the hebrews i love him and i lay down everything love not the world this is the problem of many people's destinies attachment attachment to money god gave you a car all of a sudden you carry that car and put it in your heart the garage is not enough for it how can you have a garage for a car and, not, and no altar for God? It's, it's carnality. We build our homes with garages for five cars and then you meet with God inside the toilet. You, you see our value? When you go to ease yourself, that's when you say, oh Lord, I'm alone with you. And God says, you are not serious. No. You provide a cupboard where you keep your document, your certificate, because your paycheck is there. And then where do you keep him? He's not in your heart. He's not even around. Far be it from me to create a shrine to keep any other thing when I've not made sure. He says, David said, I'm sitting here in a palace and Lord, I know you sit in the heavens, but I've not built you a house. And God said, ah, you would have built, but you've shed so much blood. However, it was good that it was in your heart. Or you have gathered the materials together and let your son be the one to build that temple. All I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted. All I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be chapter 15 let me show you something in the story of the prodigal son Luke chapter 15 please give us verse 11 I found out that both the elder brother and the younger brother did the same thing the story of the prodigal son for many years we have harassed the younger brother and left the elder brother all of them did different versions of the same thing follow me 
verse 11 and he said a certain man had two sons how many sons two sons next verse and the younger of them said to his father give me a portion of goods that falleth to me and he divided unto them now watch this do you know that the house was all about his father but the children had access but then the child was angry because it was not in his name that's selfishness self-centeredness wants it in your name so that somebody was healed in koinonia no i'm not happy let it be that apostle joshua selman was the one who god used so i'm not i'm more concerned about my name being touched to the miracle than it is the god of heaven that touched the person that's self are you seeing that now yes The younger son had everything but every time he saw his father he had to wait on his father daddy i want something and the father was okay just a few minutes i said no no i want something so that i will it will be in my name and said daddy i'm tired of depending on you ah, that's what christians do lord i'm tired of waiting on you for this power give me this thing so that i can do it anyhow i want on stage why must i wait for you and worship before you come don't you know that is falling my hand after clapping for me and giving me water i come and stand on the stage and i say lord you have to come whereas people on my it's my t-shirt they are wearing with my face not your face so lord give me this power so that i can operate it independent of you prodigal son he didn't want it he wanted it in his name meaning his control the father said all right everyone that ask it receive it now watch this he says and not many days after the younger son gathered all together he took on his journey are you seeing he did not want submission uh -uh. a self-centered life wants to be the lord of yourself the custodian of your decisions to hell with any and everybody i am the lord of myself it's a terrible way of living it says and he did what wasted wasted his substance with riotous living party and all of that because he felt by showing his friends money they will respect him you see that and so he showed all of that and what happened we're reading and when he had spent all there arose a mighty famine in the land and he began to be in want where did limitation enter his life when he left there was abundance and there was supply could it be that your limitation in every area is a reflection that you are dissociating yourself from the authority of the father building an empire for yourself and now you are having to foot your bills by yourself 15 and he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country and sent him into the fields to feed swine brothers and sisters once in royalty having abundance to the point that even the servants were considered privileged people now because he declared that he did not want his father to be the regulator of his life and his activities he wanted to regulate everything by himself this was his destiny and he would fain have filled his belly with this horse that the swine did eat and no man gave unto him 17 and when he came to himself you can be sure that he came to his mind he said how many hired servants of my father have bread enough to eat and spare and i perish with hunger 18 i will arise and go to my father that's what someone needs to do this night and i will say father i have sinned against heaven and before thee 19 i am no more worthy to be called your son make me as one of your servants verse 20 hallelujah and he arose and came to his father but when he was yet a great way off listen his father saw him and had what compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him keep reading and the son said to him father i have sinned against thee and in thy sight i am no more worthy to be called thy son 22 but the father said to his servants bring forth the best robe now hold on the elder brother is about to come now so watch carefully bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet 23 
and bring hither the fatted calf and kill and let us eat and be merry why for my son was dead and now is alive to be separated from the authority of God is death to be carnally minded is death you see it there but to be spiritually minded is life and with it peace and he was lost and is found and they began to be merry scene 2 now the elder son was in the field and he came and drew nigh to the house and had music and dancing the guy will always say he's innocent let's examine him now and he called on one of the servants and asked what these things meant 27 and they said unto him thy brother is come and thy father had killed the fatted calf because he had received him safe and sound and he was help me and would not go in therefore his father came out what is, whoever that father is must be a good father the father left the party and came out and met him and entreated him 29 and he answered now watch this you see this this is what the father the boy said lo many years do i serve thee neither transgress i at any of thy commandment and yet thou never gavest me so two of them wanted ownership it's just that one had it secretly in his heart and another verbalized and said give me two of them had the same lust it's just that one was vocal enough to manifest it whereas and was he not eating in the house was he not celebration that was going on was he not a calf that was but he want he said let me go and make merry with my friends is it not the same thing the younger brother was doing two of them two of them were expressions of the same thing one was quiet just like you and the other one is vocal like the sinner roaming around but the truth is that it's still the same thing jesus you be lifted higher higher be lifted higher jesus you be lifted higher So there can be an outspoken brother who is carnal and wants everything. It must be car, it must be money, it must be reputation. And you are the quiet brother, you are the elder brother. You like it, you like the honor, you like the prestige. Are we together? You like and you can kill for it. It's just that you are not that courageous. So we will be deceived into thinking you are the nice person and the other one who is vocal. But the word of God declares to us that two of them need the attention of their father. Their father attended to the younger one and he still had to come and attend to the elder one because two of them had the same problem. Christ-centeredness maybe it's because you have not had a big ministry that's why we have not seen the full potential of what is in your heart it may not be that you are humble maybe it's because joshua selman has not owned a private jet that's why you think he's a humble brother so god draws me down say mr man stop looking at jet look at my face so that let's flog this out before jet kills you and takes away there are people who would throw god out of the plane and remain there alone Tonight is a call. You want to experience power? You want to experience miracles? You must come to a point in your life. Brothers and sisters, you can stand in front of your Jeep like this and say, what a beautiful car. And turn and say, Lord, truly, if you make demand of this, I will give you. And you are not just doing church language. It's from your heart. Yes. It's from your heart. That way, when God gives you the gift of a wife, you will not beat her and say, I must beat you. That's how we are in our family. When we are angry, we beat, we ask for forgiveness later on. That attitude is because you do not know that a man cannot have anything except it is given to him. When God gives you children, you will not allow them to become lawless and say, no, it's westernization. Because you will know that everything God gives you, he demands that you act as though it's his own. God never gives us ownership. 
owners are rebels in this kingdom we are stewards of everything his resources mysteries whatever it is it belongs to him it only passes through me so brother you want to become a multi-millionaire do you have the grace to give and give and keep giving and support the work of the Lord and support lives if it's not in your presence if it's not by your hands if it's not by your spirit please don't let me have it for everything I need is in you if it's not in your presence if it's not by your hands if it's not by your spirit don't let me have it. everything i need is in you question does your wardrobe belong to him does your bank account belong to him does your anointing know you fasted for it to come but does it belong to him now does your wife belong to him does your husband belong to him does whoever you are in a relationship with does it belong to him do your children belong to you or they are his property you are only a steward over them does your business belong to you does your church does koinonia belong to him or is joshua selman's property is his um ladder of greatness ah far be it from me too young for that kind of stress don't let me have it let everything i have be from you please don't let me have it for everything I need is in you. Listen, this is the level where you will see dimensions of power beyond your wildest imagination. Someone will sit down on your bed and stand up and all of a sudden, the fibroid is gone. It was so unconscious, there is an effulgence of glory that you carry and walk with. You broke is a joke. God will shake people everywhere to make sure he brings resources for you. The things that people do for me never, never stop amazing me. I thank God for the things that God does. But I am so... Sometimes I just look and I say, Lord, Kai. Someone was going to bless me a few days ago and it was quite a very large amount. And the person just said, oh, please send me your account number. And I just, as I was ending the call, the Spirit of God was speaking to me about a family that that money was for. You know why God can speak to me like that? Because my life, the account and the favor is his own. I was so happy when he said it. Not just as a law for abundance. It's with all pleasure. My one desire is that you be praised that you be praised that you be praised you're my one desire that you be praised that you be praised that you be praised hear the word of the lord tonight Please come unto me. Come unto me. All ye that labor, labor, profitless labor, labor that you have carried your heart and put inside. <clears throat> there is a realm of rest. A man can enter the rest of God. It's not irresponsibility. Everybody knows he's the doer 
of the miracles. He is the opener of the door. He is the lifter of men. You have separated your ego from these things. If it happens well for you, glory be to God. If it does not happen well to you, Lord, be praised. If the child comes, Lord, I thank you for the testimony. If the child does not come, Lord, while I wait, I still love you. That's one who is Christ-centered. Listen, that's a spiritual man. As a spiritual man. God is speaking to us. We need to be careful. Our lusts and our appetites are leading us through roads of destruction. We need to come back and say, Lord, I hand everything over to you. People are marrying wrongly because of self, flesh. The lady must be this beautiful figure eight. The guy must be this, a millionaire must be this. And people keep jam-packing rubbish and trouble into their lives. How about people who don't even... Gone are the days, this issue of hearing God. People have eroded it. You just get up and say, I want to go to Abel Kuta because there's green pastures there. How about brothers and sisters? Let's respect and fear God. There were times where people never took any step until they heard from God. They would rather be considered failures. We've thrown all that away because of our ego. Let them not say, I'm a graduate and I am not working. If it's not in your presence, if it's not by your hand, If it's not by your spirit, please don't let me have. For everything I need is in you. Listen, we're about to pray. Think for one moment the causes of your worry this morning. Think of the reason why you woke up by 2 a.m. in the morning. All that worry, trace it down. It is self. It is self because he gives his beloved sleep. You rejected it because you are. I don't mean waking up to plan your life. There are many they just wake up and say, Life. What a terrible life. How can this ministry grow? How can this ministry grow? Oh Lord, do this. this. How can this ministry grow? And God said, you have been talking about ministry for one week. You have not talked about me. You forgot about me and you have been drumming. Lord, my church must grow. And God says, how about me? Will I grow in your heart? Said God, lead the show of you. My church must grow. Prophecy came that is my year of this and that. Lord, why is it that I go for meetings and nothing happens? I love you, I fast, but I stand at the end of the meeting, I'm ashamed. And God says, when you die to me and it no longer becomes about you and your reputation, then you will see the glory of the Lord. This is my daily prayer. I'm, I'm praying that God will infect you with that hunger tonight. Please hear me. God is speaking to us. I want you to take, I'm not preaching. I'm talking from the depth of my heart, transferring something from me to you. We need to repent of self-centeredness. And let Jesus Christ be the epicenter of our lives. May God forgive me if I'm lying. But there is nothing I know in my life today that I cannot give God. I ask for forgiveness if I'm telling a lie. But there is nothing I know. Especially things. Things. I can't be that stupid. Some of you are about fighting with somebody because of 100 naira change. God spoke to you since last month. Leave it. Say, no way. I fight for my right. Lord, this is how I left it the other time. They would take me for granted and God is talking to you. Oh, the tailor was supposed to correct this. You must correct it and I won't pay you anything. I will show you that I'm educated. And God said, you see this? The foundation is flesh. Listen, blessed are the peacemakers. Have you heard that scripture? Do you know who a peacemaker is? He says, seek peace. And if you don't find it, pursue it. Look for it by any means. For everything I need is in you.
we surround our lives with needless worries as a proof that God can no longer provide. Ha! I will never forget during our crusade, one of, I think it was 2006, a Jimmy had a laptop. It was the only one that had, was it? No, it wasn't a laptop, it was a computer. He was the only one who had a computer at that time. And we're trying to raise money for the crusade. And that's how this guy, I think it was, he just put a notice in the uh, hostel there, Suleiman. Computer for sale. I was so touched. I don't know how many of them he has now. He will get it and buy it and buy it and buy the factory. That's what happens when you're hard. Stop admiring people that the gates of heaven are open over. Find out what they did for God to trust them this much. Don't say you are lucky. It's because your father is this. My father is a lie. God supervises our hearts. I've taught it here in Koinonia, but let me say it. When God is closing a door over somebody, don't open it. Don't open it out of sympathy. There are people that I've wanted to help with all my heart and God has stopped me again and again. There is a dealing God is rotting in their life. Don't interrupt the dealing of God. Are we together? There are pastors for many years. They love God but their church will not grow. They are serving God and sometimes you can pity them and say, look, just invite them. Let me come and speak over your meeting and mobilize people for you. And God says, you are doing the mistake that Achan did. Well, um, not, not Uzzah. You are doing Uzzah's mistake. You want to help God to hold the ark. And you find that it will not only strike you, it will strike others associated with you. Our hearts must be given to him. Ladies, please look at me, sisters. Let's hand over our hearts to him and end this lust for things. Clothes, shoes, they are wonderful. God will give you more than your wildest imagination. Brothers, let's drop this big manism and appetite for titles and a proof to show I am rich so that all and sundry will respect you. It's all nonsense. If you are great, you are great. Honor is a mantle. If you don't have it, you don't have it. It's as simple as that. Tonight is a night of thorough repentance. We are going to cry before God and confess the idolatry, the sin, the carnality of idolatry to say, Lord, I've carried this thing on my head like a do or die affair and it's almost killing me. I hand it over. There is peace in handing over your life to God. There is peace in handing over your children to God. There is peace in handing over your job. Hand over the difficult boss. Don't try to go and be looking for a godfather and the godfather say 50-50, agreed and you are in trouble. No. Allow God who will do it 100-0. He will give you. Bless you. We commit ourselves into things and projects God has no business in because we cannot let him have his way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. share so much of my testimonies because I want people to focus on Jesus and the things that I'm teaching we came back from Lagos last week and after the meeting I was counseling people and I came out to just you know see the pastors and, and then a gentleman was standing there and he was telling me that sir I just wanted to tell you that I brought a car here for you and then I'm looking and say, my God, what is all this? I, 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 because when I hear those kind of things, I feel guilty. It's as if I'm even bullying them. I just, just talk to this. Please talk to the protocol people and let the church, whatever they want to do with it there. And I came back, and I think day before yesterday or so, they still called the protocol, the church, and said, somebody has given a person a car. How do we convey it and bring it there? It is this car that someone has left God for. Father, this car must come. This is already, um, what month are we in now? February. Car! 
it must come and God is saying Abba, is this how small I am to you I want to show you something open to the book of Matthew say, Matthew chapter 1 God I've been crying I've been saying can God is saying look, look how you are making a mess of yourself when you love God and fear God please hear me he would take the prayer request of somebody it's not because I'm a man of God or go and ask him what I'm doing don't just say you are lucky there's no luck in this thing you work it out with fear and trembling and passion and fire have your way have your way we are fighting too many battles in our lives these battles are not even there they were created by our lost sister let God bring a husband for you please rest rest and watch what God can do for you in two weeks 10 years of labor and manipulation can end in two weeks of saying Lord I hand it over to you I vow that I'm going to be a blessing to whichever man you bring and while I wait for him I will love you I will serve your house and I will prepare for the blessing God says that's it that's all I'm looking for and all of a sudden the brother will not be able to sleep again he will see clearly there's no haze there's no confusion straight this is your wife stand up and go and see her parents instead of walking it out by yourself and sweating around what of brothers i must do this if i can call this one and then he calls this one for me and then i just connect with pastor alpha if i can beg a jimmy and then beg a benga and then beg this and that I, if i put them from i think three plus three will be six three plus three will be not be six forever because there are demons there are wicked forces that will keep minusing one minusing different things and the equation never adds up but when you add it over to god one plus one can be six one plus one is anything God says the answer is. If God says it's one million, that's it. Mathematics say one plus one must be two. God says, I create. I don't see under. No, no, no. Whatever I want, the earth is the Lord's. So God can say your third class plus your mother's firewood job equal to an estate. This is God. This is God. Whereas your flesh can say NMPC plus an auxiliary uncle in the bank can still equal to pain and suffering. We are going to pray. Tonight, the Lord is bringing us to the place of rest. The spirit life demands that our desires, listen, our appetites, our ambitions, our aspirations come under submission to his will. This is all God is asking. I was so blessed by Mr. Job's testimony and the wife. Did you hear what they said? They had been trusting God for a baby boy. Are you seeing that? But notice the progression of the way he shared the testimony. The first thing he said was his spiritual life and the way God put his life in order. And then without any effort as it were, a child came could it be that your prayer request your heart is too full for your prayer request to be given to you when you empty it and keep Christ alone then he begins to bring every and anything we are going to sing take all of me please take it higher for me don't just sing it as a special number I want you to sing it from your heart. Some of you, as you are singing it, God is going to be dealing with you and talking with you. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. All of me, all of me, Lord. You have my Use all of me, use all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Anoint my everything. Take my everything 
I release my everything. You have my everything. Say. sits in my heart attempting to take your place lift your voice and cry take it away except the Lord builds a house they labor in vain except the Lord builds a house they labor in vain except the Lord builds a house they labor in vain Take it away. Let that circumcision in the spirit. Let that circumcision over money. Let that circumcision over power. That circumcision over titles. Let it happen, oh God. Purge me. Purge me. Purge my heart. so attached to that will not allow me enthrone you a Christ-centered life a life where everything about you aside from God nothing is a do or die affair Christ Lord and throne hallelujah Prayer point number two. Mention everything you think is greatness in your life and say you come under the Lordship of Jesus. Mention it. Whatever God has done and given you, mention it by name and bring it under the Lordship of Jesus. The marriage you gave me, I bring it under the Lordship of Jesus. The children you have given me, they are taught of the Lord and great is their peace. I rededicate them a handover ceremony the job you gave me I hand it over to you the relationship you gave me I hand it over to you if you brought it you are the one who can maintain it the burden is killing me pray the burden is destroying me Lord, you are the one who gave me the prayer group, the church, the business. I'm tired of struggling by my strength. Bring me rest. Bring me rest. The rest that only you can bring. Belongs to you.
attached to anything I'm attached to even if it's you that gave me break the attachment is the attachment you are dealing with go ahead and pray that ungodly attachment that makes you secondary in my life please pray koinonia you are programming yourself for strange signs and wonders chapter 8 verse 18 Isaiah chapter 8 we are praying you let tonight's teaching enter your spirit and you will watch your life like a charm, favor, open doors, I tell you the Bible says behold I and the children whom who gave you who gave you is God that gives increase I and the children the Lord had given me are for signs and for wonders in Zaria, in Nigeria, in Israel. But where do the signs and wonders come from? From the Lord of hosts. I and the children that God has given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts. We are going to pray. You are connected to this vision. You are part of this ministry. Pray and say, Lord, not only will my life produce signs and wonders, I will be an epistle of that possibility. Lift your voice and pray. I declare, pray that I and the children that the Lord has given me, we are for signs and for wonders, for signs, financial signs and wonders supernatural signs and wonders dimensions of revelations dimensions of encounters dimensions of increase dimensions of influence dimensions of prayer grace access to the mysteries of the kingdom spiritual men kingdom minded people Hallelujah. There are people tonight, the answer to your prayer is healing for your body, healing for your soul. Do you know, years ago, I didn't pay so much attention to what people call emotional healing. I felt it was very feminine and for lazy people. Most I, I felt any serious person needed physical healing or spiritual healing. If you needed emotional healing, you needed orientation too, but it's not true. Um, emotional healing can be more painful than physical healing. Are we together? The Bible says a broken spirit can dry the bones where the life of a man is carved out. There are people in need of all kinds of healing. There are people tonight, the answer to your prayer is repentance and forgiveness. That's how God will answer you. You need to forgive and you also need to repent. That's your miracle service tonight. There are people tonight, the answer to your prayer is prophecy. You need a prophetic word. You need a direct prophetic word that addresses your issues no long story no discussion alongside the creative power that flows through prophecy 
Pay attention. There are people tonight, the answer to your prayer is an impartation of favor. It's very clear that if favor came into your life, you would not be where you are. Favor. There are people tonight, the answer to your prayer is a direct impartation, greater fire, greater unction, greater activation of the gifts of the spirit, greater activation of, of a higher capacity for spiritual things. There are people tonight, your own miracle service is an introduction of the mercy of God over your life and situation. Everybody here will receive tonight through one or more of these means. A supply of wisdom, grace for obedience, deliverance from spirits, healing, repentance, forgiveness, prophecy, favor, impartation. Your assignment is to be sensitive to when your word comes. You see that? Like the lady who was already shouting while the meeting started. Something is already happening to her, you see. God is already doing his business with her. For someone in the overflow, you may be in maybe overflow three, overflow three, the fence is covered and they almost cannot see me directly except through the screen. Doesn't matter. The only thing you benefit standing close to a man of God is convenience. In the realm of the spirit. It doesn't matter whether you are here, whether you are outside, whether you are online, whether you are in any nation, doesn't matter the time zone. The most important thing is when your faith can connect to the anointing, then a supply of the power of God comes your direction. Tonight, brothers and sisters, I present to you a God who is almighty. Tonight, I present to you a king that can heal, that can change situations. The Bible says where the word of a king is, there is power. I present to you one who is not limited by our situations. I present to you one who is loving enough to respond to you. I present to you one who loves you enough to change your life. I present to you one who can give you value for your time spent in his presence. God is not a herbalist. God is not a prophet. He walked on the earth and manifested those things. But he is God almighty. I want your heart to be open tonight. Especially if you are here for the first time. You may have come, gone through all the rigors of the inconvenience to position yourself somewhere. You must open up your heart to receive we have prayed we've partnered with god and god is ready to deliver that which is your portion in full in full in full not part of it remember the negotiation that pharaoh wanted he wanted to broker a negotiation and said let your wives go leave your kids behind and and moses said no way that's not what god told me everything must go plus animals so you're going to insist tonight that even if it's your hair falling, God must come in and touch it. Don't say it does not matter. Why believe God in one area and not believe in another? Regardless of the area, it is still the power of God that will solve it. Don't trust God to heal your body and then not change your financial situation. No. Don't trust God to step in and deliver you from oppression and then you go back sick again. Do you believe tonight? That the Lord is going to step in and change your life. Truly speaking, let me tell you this. God has granted me the privilege to walk in dimensions of his anointing. It still marvels me after many years of walking in the anointing, how the anointing works. It's still a marvel to me at how when the power of God truly locates someone, how his life changes overnight overnight except it's not the power of god that meets you you won't know it will change all of a sudden you will see doors open my elder sister shared with me a testimony today she probably might be following online something that god did in her life and 
I'm not a very emotional person, but I was almost fighting tears. I says, God already, first of October, a strange. These are the these are the these are the kinds of miracles. Listen, these are the kinds of miracles that when you hear, if only one of it happens per year, you are happy. Major miracles that can shift your life. I said, Lord, thank you because my family members are also partaking. Because they have to believe too. That they are my family members does not mean they will believe automatically. No, the brothers of Jesus kept watching him and he said, don't be watching, no. Release your faith. Some of you here are sitting. You have cried in the secret. You have cried in the open. Let this be your last cry. Are we together? Only God knows the pain that some of you are seated here with. The level of pain you are, you are seated. That, see, this is why we fast and pray and prepare. Because we will be wicked to allow people come. Some of you started your journey since last week. You have come to come, spend time, spend resources. No, this is not a cinema hall. This is not a place of games. Some of you have carried sick people. Some of you have carried sick bodies. There is a God that can reward. There is a God that can reward. Please hear me. I may not claim I know everything about God, but I know this God enough to know He's mighty. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Listen, listen. Let me teach you something about the anointing. The anointing introduces possibilities in your life. These are things that were not there. If it's not there, you can't say it's there. It's a lie. Tonight, don't tell lies. There are things that are not in your life but should be there. The agency that will bring it is the anointing. There is favor that should be in your life but it's not in your life. If it's not there, everybody will know. When it comes, we will also know. There were things that were not in my life years ago. When it came, I knew to the degree that brought it. Listen, tonight is the ministry of the Spirit. I told you it's the anointing that is responsible for the result. It is the, the, it is a how shall these things be? What is the dynamics? He said the power of the highest. That's how it happens. It has never changed. It is always an encounter with the anointing. Your, the job of your faith is to connect you to the anointing. It is never faith that moves God. No. Your faith connects you to the power of God. Tonight I came with an anointing. There is enough grace. There is enough anointing. I tell you this. There is enough anointing if you will believe. There is enough anointing. Your situation is not the first. Your situation is, the, is not the first. Your family situation is not the greatest. There is nothing new under the sun. God's ability is God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. God's ability is working.
the Lord is going to do a very quick work tonight. I'm hearing people crying in the spirit. And the Holy Ghost is telling me these are those who have been delayed. Delayed by the power of darkness. I'm about to release the anointing upon people experiencing delay. Bring them out. I stretch my hands. Delay. You come on that judgment. You come on that judgment. Delay. Delay. I stretch my hands. All the overflows online. Anyone here. Any family. Under the spirit of delay. Bring them out. Sakoto Shabariata. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. The fire of God. Breaking the chains of delay. 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 Bring them out. Wani Kamada Kay Papu Wani Kamada Kay Delay over, over forever. There is an anointing. I told you the anointing is the answer to the prayers. There is an anointing. I'm seeing in this main bowl 16 people. I'm seeing a number 16. Where are they? I stretch my hands. That sword of the spirit breaking delay. There are families with a covenant of delay. A covenant of delay. A covenant of delay. Breaking now. Breaking now. Breaking now. The covenant of delay. Shaka ta ta ta. Reketo kosotoba. The covenant of delay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Over for three, please look at me on the screen. You don't need to bring them here. It's too long a distance. Those inside that building. Just look at me on the screen because I'm seeing angels moving at overflow three and I want to pray for you overflow three right now in the name of Jesus right where you are in the name of Jesus I'm seeing the number 24 24 people right at overflow three the Lord is breaking delay breaking delay from them breaking delay right now breaking delay hallelujah there are still people listen i want you to believe in what god is doing i want you to have a testimony without an encounter with his power it will just be a religious service i promise you and you will go back it is the power of god the power of god is what draws the line hallelujah delay delay God is not yet done where is that family oh Lord that nobody has moved forward I'm seeing delay don't worry God is coming in the anointing of the spirit is looking for a family there is a family there is a family there is a family they are here there is a family Jesus Shokos Ketosia help this woman Sheketos Keleketa Yata Tosikata. There is a family. This is not just an individual thing. There is a family. The power of God is searching for a family that the devil has kept, kept, kept so that they will not rise. Hallelujah. We are going to be fast tonight. There are many things to do. I want you to be sensitive. The Lord is showing me a vision now. And I'm seeing a grave. I'm seeing something that looks like a black leather inside that grave. 
and I'm seeing an angel of the Lord pull it out and the Lord is saying this was done against a family Lord where is that family right now I stretch my hands whoever programmed the earth to fight any family tonight is a night of resurrection I decree and declare let it come out now let it come out the breakthrough of that family the healing of that family the miracle of that family I release it now hallelujah hallelujah I'm standing here and I'm looking at this stage one two three four five six seven I'm counting seven stones and the Lord is saying these are tight destinies this is the whole destiny of a family seven of them but may the sword of the God I serve in the name of Jesus any family tied down by witchcraft any family tied down by ordinances I decree and declare by the blood of Jesus liberty tonight liberty tonight hallelujah i'm seeing a family and there are four ladies and all the four ladies have a growth either a breast lump or something in their body four ladies all of them have it in the name of jesus christ wherever this family is regardless of what what overflow i stretch my hands now in the name of jesus christ that family does not need healing that family needs deliverance i command deliverance right now i command deliverance for that family now i command deliverance now when i was praying i saw at least eight women that were barren no child doesn't matter what he is some of them connected to families and the lord told me he was going to open the wombs of every single one of them every single one of them every single one of them please lift your hands i want to pray now i believe in deliverance I really do. This mama, there's serious witchcraft in your family. As I'm praying for you now, I'm seeing a rope. A rope. I'm seeing a rope. And the Lord is saying that I should set this mama free. I'm just being fast because I want us to conserve time. Hallelujah. Listen, do you know why we do not minister deliverance just as a religious thing? No. It is a way of separating people and the influences that tie them down. That's what I want to do now. I want to pray. Listen, many of you inside, many of you outside are here now because of spirits you may not believe it you may not agree but it's true they are the forces responsible for the pain and the tragedies that we are going through but i want to pray for you now your own is to believe just do what i'm asking you to do we have already prayed if those spirits do not clear out of your life there is no breakthrough 
you, you would have come to waste your time. Let me tell you the truth. It is when those forces leave your life. Families here. Spirits have sat on the destinies of families. Do your worst. Go to school and come back and meet us. Get a job and see, come back and meet us. Marry and come back and meet us. Are we together? It's time for them to go. Lift your hands, everyone. I want to pray for you now. I'm going to command those devils to leave you. Listen, it's not a suggestion. They must go. They must leave you. Are we together now? I'm praying for you. Please, now, because the ushers are doing their best, the protocol is doing their best, but there is only so much. They may not be able to help people. There are people outside. Please, be your brother's neighbor. If someone is under the anointing and is capsizing to enjoy himself, you can do well to help. Please, you can help at least manage. The ushers will come for it. Because this prayer I'm about to pray now is going to bring strange manifestations in people. I see a lot of wild spirits, wicked, ancient spirits. All shapes and all sizes, they must go now. Just one instruction. I just want you to shout when I ask you the name of Jesus once and at the top of your voice. Now listen, don't be surprised. When you find out that demons are manifesting through you, it doesn't mean you are possessed. No, that's a different thing altogether. Some of you, as you are here, you are representing your family. Nothing may be wrong with you as a person, but because of your family. Are you ready now? Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have anointed this place as a place of fire, a place of grace and deliverance. There are lives and destinies that have been tied down for ages. And in the name of Jesus, at the sound of my voice may your voice be in my voice may your grace be in my voice i send an alarm to the length and breadth of this place that at the count of three anyone that shouts that name let there be deliverance right now are you ready one two three i command those devils Go now, go now, ancestral spirits, spirit husbands, spirit wives, yokes of darkness, I command you by the power of the Holy Ghost, ancient spirits, spirits that have been generational, familiar spirits i command you now by the anointing of the holy ghost overflow one overflow two overflow three let them go now let them go now Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm seeing a number of ladies. There are all kinds of spirits manifesting in the night as a man and a woman, manifesting as animals in your sleeps and dreams. In the name of Jesus, where are those ladies? Fire is looking for them now. Shakoto Soto Ketiata, Ekelatos Kopriata. I separate you from those spirits i separate you from those covenants i separate you from those ordinances any man any woman any entity appearing to you in the night using the faces of men and animals in the name of jesus i command by the spirit a severance between you and them Hallelujah. Sir, this Baba, can I talk to you, sir? Please come. God is about to change your story forever. 
I don't know you, sir. But I want to pray for you. Stand up. Please stand up, sir. I'm looking at you in a vision and I'm seeing you are not alone. You came with some people. Your children. One, one child. Your son. Eh? Only you. No, there's a son. Is he Where is he? Come. Come and stand. Daddy, I want to pray for you that this life of hardship God want, please stand up, please stand up you don't have to kneel down sir this is your dad, I want to pray for you you came believing eh? August, is it Augustus I'm hearing the name Augustus Augustus is it Augustus is it Augustus, Augustine or something Augustus please if that's your name let me just talk to you quickly I want to minimize personal prophecy so that we can do much, we want to pray for the sick I want to take out time and do an extensive deliverance tonight because there are people that my sister come this lady this one not you you are not a woman my brother this come lift your hands shout over, over. forever in the name of Jesus Christ for you and your family it's over in the name of Jesus Christ sir if you have never believed a man of God in your life what is about to happen to you there is a reason why I asked you to come because the Lord showed me that there was a son and I want to prophesy to you that this life of hardship will end like smoke before the wind. You believe it, sir? Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, it's over right now. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare that it's over. In the name of Jesus, over forever. Sir, hold my hands. Go and prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ, go and prosper. By the anointing of the spirit of god go and prosper gabriel who is gabriel gabriel i'm hearing the name gabriel please let's hurry up so that we don't waste time gabriel gabriel is he gabriel what's your name huh augustine come you are gabriel why is he here augustine I want to pray for you. Where's your family? My dad is around. My sister. Hold on. There's a man wearing white. Is he your father? White shirt. Yes, Call him. Let him come. Who is that? Who is that? There's somebody. I'm seeing somebody wearing white. What's, please coordinate them. What? You're welcome, sir. Your name is Gabriel, sir. I'm going to pray for you. Please stand here. I want to pray for you. This is the guy wearing white. Come. What is he? My brother. Your brother. Come and stand. God wants to change your life. I don't know you, but I saw someone standing close to you wearing white. That's why I said there's somebody wearing white. Two of you, I want to pray for you. You love Jesus. God is going to change your life. Why is he here? Your name is Gabriel, too. You too. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God. Honestly, I tell you, God is visiting families. I don't know if it's because it's first October, but I see strange miracles. You, this one, put your hand on your stomach there, right now. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing fire coming on you. And the Lord is, I should tell you, he's taking something away from your stomach. That's what is happening right now. In the name of Jesus, I command that thing to go now. My brother, there is oppression. There is a spirit that you need to be delivered from. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Out now of his life and his family. Help two of them. God is delivering them. This is the spirit that is destroying their family. What's your name, sir? Augustine. Augustine. Where's the other Augustine? Okay, you are the one. You are the Augustine. Where are you from? Abia State. Abia State. Yes. I want to pray for you. God wants to give your family a miracle. Do you believe that? Lift your hands. There's bad luck in your life. The Lord is asking me to end it now. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands. I end bad luck. Over. The boy doesn't even believe. As you are standing, the anointing still touch you, but it doesn't have faith. Don't come and stand here and you are wondering. I'm not a herbalist. Have I prayed for you? What's your name? Year two. 
Year two. What is year two? I'm seeing Y E. Is it Y E T U or year two or year two? Something like that. Year two. Something that has to do with year two. Y E T U. I don't know if it's part of someone's name or something. Year two. Who is that? That's her name. What's her name? Year two. Can you imagine? How can you call somebody's name year two? You can guess Gabriel, you can guess Mary. But year two, I want to pray. There's something being taken from her life. Hold my hands. And the Lord is saying I should take it away. In the name of Jesus, let it roll like a cotton and leave her life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is of the devil and I release your wife right now by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Your miracle has come. Your miracle has come. You love Jesus, my friend, look at me. You love Jesus, I want to pray for you. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Why is she here? Your dad. There is a copper that I want to pray for. There is a copper. Something is coming on you, my dear. Let me pray for you. Don't worry. If, if, I, if all I do, I, I just lay my hands on you. Um, it, it doesn't matter. Please, why are you here? You are Gabriel? Gabriel. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for this guy. God is giving you favor. Great favor. Great favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's, there's bad luck in your life and your family. But it's going now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's going. That's why you're here. Gabriel. Aleku is there. This is like an idol. Oleku or Aleku. Eh? Aleku. Aleku. Who is that? Eh? Hold on. Where are you from? Aleku. This is something that has to do with a tree. Is there something like that? He said, What? Why are they coming out? What is, why are you? They named somebody after the idol. And the Lord is saying, who, who is the person? Whose name? This is, it's not just an idol. We are going to pray for Benway State. But the, every state has a devil somewhere. I'm saying, this is like somebody's name. Ale, Ale Ku or Ale something like that. Ale Ku or so. Who is this? Huh? What's that? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. What's your name? Eh? Grace. Please, can you help us with this mic? The mic, please. Where are you from? Benway. You are from Benway. Yes. The Lord is showing me something. Look at me. If I'm right, say I'm right. If, if it's no, say no. I'm seeing you lying down and you are having a dream. Yes. And in the dream, you are calling this name I've been calling. Yes. Is that true? They call that name three times. One, two, three. That idol. Is that true? Yes. Sir. From that day when you woke up, your life was never the same again. Is that true? Give her the mic now. Let her talk. Yes. Sir. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Hold my hands. If you are from Benway here, hold my hands. Anything, any programming that has been done with any God. You'll be surprised what will happen now. In the name of Jesus Christ, anyone here from Benway whose destiny has been tied to any tree or any devil, right now, I use this lady as a point of contact. As God is touching her, 
out of their lives now out of their destinies now daddy let me pray for you sir this is your first time here no sir i've been coming sir you've been coming sir yes i want to pray for you what do you do sir sir what do you do i'm a staff of a medical university i have to pray for you sir because i look at you and not, not only because i'm looking at you nobody will look at you and nobody there's serious depression and i have to pray for you that's number one number two you have do you know what they call the cause of hardship you are not a lazy man but there is hardship in your life and the lord is asking me to help you can i pray for you sir in the name of jesus christ lord i pray for this our daddy let there be a miracle right now in his life i command this yoke of hardship to go let it go forever in the name of jesus let it go forever jumai 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 is that your name uh well i'll pray for you but this is not the person i'm seeing jumai i'll pray for you your family is oppressed there is a spirit that must go now bring her i've not even started praying bring her there is a a, a wicked spirit that i see in this family a very wicked spirit that i see in this family this is something that is older than older than old this is hundreds of years old but in the name of jesus i'm praying now i use you as a point of contact I command that spirit you must go now. Hallelujah. Please just allow me. This is Juma, I'll pray for you. But I'm seeing a family. This is like a curse. No matter what the men do, they never rise. The Lord is saying I should break it something is happening to a family right now let me pray my sister this is your first time here i want to pray for you hold my hands hold my hands don't be afraid as i pray for you the lord is going to open a door in your destiny that will surprise you in the name of jesus i hold your hands now and decree and declare that everything that has tied you down everything that has tied you down right now in the name of jesus there is disfavor in your life anybody who plans to bless you something turns them away from you anybody who plans to bless you something turns them away from you i hold your hands and i release you right now in jesus name i want to pray in a hurry there is a family all the men it doesn't matter whether you are hard working whether you go to school or not but the lord is asking me to pray for that family right now lord where are they I'm stretching my hands now and I'm declaring anyone here inside outside under the sound of my voice that belongs to this category as I stretch my hands right now I release the power of God to that family right now I speak to the men in that family arise now arise now arise now arise now arise now help that woman arise now Arise now, Shekoto Sokoto Baka. The men in that family arise now. Arise now in the name of Jesus. There's somebody here, you lost your job in the month of March. March, you lost your job. Please, where is that person? You were working, but in the month of March. I want us to hurry up. I, I'm, I'm trying to see that we conserve time. The month of March. I don't know if you are, except if it's a person is far, maybe overflow tree. Then they can just locate him. You lost your job. There's something. You lost your job in the month of March. Where is that person? Please, quickly, if there's someone like that. What were you doing? 
I was a banker. You are a banker. Yes, sir. Something happened. Yes, sir. And they dismissed you. Yes, sir. What are you doing now? I'm doing my PG program for now. Do you believe if I pray for you, you will get a job? Yes, sir. Will you come and testify? Yes, sir. <laughs> Where? Where have you been praying for? Ah, sorry. Where have you been praying for for a job? Uh, same bank. Bank the same job. bank. Same bank. You want them to call you back? Yes, sir. Do you believe they can call you back? Sure. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Because you see, I'm looking at something that had to do with money, and truly the guy was innocent. But they just joined people, and since there was nobody to stand for him, they joined everybody and threw them out. But in the name of Jesus. Whatever should not leave you and left you. I call it back to your life now. I call it back to your life now. I call it back to your life now. Hear me. I know many of you may not. Why is he here, sir? Come. Well, stand up, sir. You were outside? Yes, overflow three. Overflow three. Yes, you sir. lost your job. Where were you working? I'm working in hospital. Which hospital? Accountant. Which hospital? Tukutuku Medical Center. So that, you see, we don't ask this question because we are prying into your privacy. I hope you are not embarrassed. Sometimes we ask it so that people don't think that this thing, because there are still people... With all these things they see, they still believe that maybe someone is playing games. At least this one is not, you are watching it now. Which hospital, sir? Tukutuku Medical Center, Zaria. At uh, Tukutuku. Okay, where are you working now? I'm just, I'm managing with one private school. What do you want God to do for you? Just get back the job. Back to that place? No, 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 no. Another job, sir. Another job. Yes. Do you believe if I pray for you, God will give you a job? I believe that. Do you know why I'm prophesying to you in the open? So that you will testify in the open too. What's your name, sir? I'm Paul. Paul. Yes, sir. God will give you a job, eh? Amen. The heaven of heavens belongs to the Lord. Listen. So when it has to do things there, we don't legislate. We make petitions. But the earth has he given to the sons of men. I give you a job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. He will go and return with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, how many of us are trusting God for healing miracles? Or came with loved ones that are really sick? Okay, we have a lot to do. So what will happen is, we'll take a break now to minister very quickly to the sick. And then after that, I'm still going to minister to people shortly before we do the final prayer. Will that be okay? Now, but while we are doing that, please, no laziness. There will be prayer points. Are we together? There will be prayer points. Once the prayer point comes, pray. Because in that prayer point, you will receive your miracle. Praise the Lord. But don't sit down yet. I'm, I'm not walking around, but I just want to. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord directing me to someone. There is, there is something that we must settle here. I'm seeing an anointing going around this place. I'm seeing an anointing going around this area. There is oppression over someone's destiny. That's the lady in the name of Jesus. I command that devil to go now. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring out. There's no space here, right? Please, don't push them. Don't push them. We are coming back. Just take her out to wait for me. Mama, what do you want God to do for you? I want to get you on her. I to Mama, I want to do what you want to do. I want to do I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. Let it be over now. That oppression, let it be over by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is where I'm coming to. In the name of Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. In the name of Jesus. I saw light moving across here. And God wants to visit a family right now. Three of them. One, two, three. Where are they? Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. 
let the visitation come now no hiding the Lord must touch them that's why you came the Lord must touch you casting crowds lifting hands bowing hearts that's all we come to do let her go now casting crowds out lifting hands bowing hearts that's all we come to do at me shout Jesus something is tying you let it lose you now I stretch my hands to you let it be over now hallelujah now please for those of you coming here for the first time we take our time we you see that we don't announce instant miracles except because we don't have the time our time is very limited Praise the Lord. Now, this is what we are going to do. Um, while I give you the prayer request, please listen carefully. Those, please listen carefully. I want to pray particularly, particularly, no matter what overflow you are in, if you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, don't come now. But when it's time to come, I want you to come. I want to pray for you by myself. But any other issue, those inside, I want you to come stand here and then parts of overflow two maybe half of overflow two can join them now overflow one please you go to your projector stand overflow two and those spilling over at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three if god grants grace and there's time i'll just run and come and visit you briefly just to let you know we're together overflow three move to your projector stand hallelujah and we're going to pray very quickly please if they don't prophesy to you or they don't minister to you don't worry we have to pray quickly so that i'll focus and do other things i want everybody to receive will that be fine but those who are trusting god for fruit of the womb whether you're in overflow one two three wherever i like you to please come those online doesn't matter any nation those following us online doesn't matter your nation you're trusting God for a miracle. I want you to connect right now by faith. Hallelujah. So we're going to do three things at the same time. Number one, you're going to be submitting your prayer request to the ushers. Number two, you're going to be praying the prayers that I'll give you while preparing our faith. And then number three, we'll come out. Is that all right? Praise the Lord. So let's do that very quickly. Very quickly, please. You're trusting God or you came with a sick person. Now is your time to come out, please. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Jesus, we bless you. I don't know. You reign on Casting crowds. Lifting hands. Bowing hearts. It's what we've come to do. Casting crowds. We are lifting hands, bowing hearts, it's what we've come to do. It's in your name, we will rise, I don't know, you ain't on high, it's in your name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray. You came with her. Huh? In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave her now. 
leave her now in the name of Jesus can you lay your hands on her Jimmy just on her chest or anywhere just touch her there in the name of Jesus I decree I curse that spirit you go and you go forever in the name of Jesus now this is what will happen please we are going to be very fast we have to be fast you see that there are lots of people uh, our miracle services if you came with someone uh, just be patient we are going to attend to them praise the Lord thank God we have uh, we have many hands and by the grace of God we'll coordinate we'll make it very fast ushers please be collecting the prayer requests if your loved ones are yet to send their own, send them a text quickly and she can join the queue just keep them somewhere I'm going to lay my hands on them praise the Lord how many overflows do we have there's an extra overflow I see by the road it has spilled over maybe overflow four you can uh, let's see we have to be fast praise the Lord okay this is what will happen um, Pastor Jimmy will be at the overflow outside here Pastor Alpha you'll be at the overflow here Benga you would go to overflow three uh, is there someone outside here who is outside here Pastor Alpha is outside uh, promise promise you will be here with Pastor Alpha and then um, Pastor Femi you'll be with um, you'll be with Benga right there at the overflow inside here I don't know how many people are left and by God's grace God will grant us grace and we'll have a lot more people to be able to minister okay Kenny Kenny join join um, a Jimmy you join a Jimmy there I think that's that's all right so far let's let's just trust God for grace father we agree in the name of Jesus Christ that for everyone we are praying for it doesn't matter who lays hands on them let there be miracles in the name of Jesus Christ let there be miracles the devil is a liar let there be miracles in the name of Jesus put your hand on your stomach my dear I want to remove something from your body now in the name of Jesus I curse that spirit that devilish spirit father let there be miracles in Jesus name please let's go very quickly we we'll need more hands I don't know if we still have people, I know they may err on. What if you are not doing anything? Please, if you can help out in overflow three with them so that at least we can help to coordinate things there. Praise the Lord. Father, let there be an avalanche of miracles here right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please worship him. You're going to give us, we're going to pray one prayer first. I'd like you to decree and declare and say, Father. I prophesy over myself that my miracle locates me now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Father, we give you all the praise. Do I only know how to do? Come and change my story. Give me a testimony. Do I only you know how to do? Can I hear you say to my only you? Do I only you know how to do? Can you lift up a voice and say, Do I only you do know? Do I only you know how to do? Hey, how to change? How to change the story? Give me a testimony. Give me a testimony. Do I only you know? Do I only you know how to do? Somebody say, Do I? Do I only you know how to do? I said, do I only you know how to do?
trust is in you. Hey! The ancient of days. My trust is in you. Hey! Shaka. I put them on you. Say. My trust is in you. Hey! I put them on you. Say. My trust is in you. My trust is in you. Yeah. My trust is in you. Oh, I put them, I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. Oh, I put them on you. On you. My trust, my hey. trust is in you. Oh, and life of Judah. My trust is in you. I put them on you, Lord. My trust is in you. Hey, I put them on you, Lord. My trust is in you. In the name of Jesus, shout it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that tonight. It's my night of testimony. Lift your voice and begin to pray over your request. Lift your voice and begin to declare. Prophesy. Tonight is my night of testimony. Shaka toko to prekete kata. Shaka paskata prekete kosh. Unto you that answers prayers. Shall all flesh come? Pray, lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus, we declare. Make sure you are praying. Lord, I decree and declare. I will not write this twice. I will not write this twice. Lord, we decree and declare. Miracles. Miracles. Are you praying? Miracles. Visit families. There are still more they should come quickly. Apokoto prokoto sekete balalaba. You reign, you ancient Zion skin. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion skin. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne, mighty in this land, mighty in this land, mighty on your throne, you mighty on your throne. Are we done? Are all the requests here, please? In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I bow my knees before the God of my covenant and I decree and declare that every request placed here, I turn it to a testimony now. I turn it to a testimony now. Strange testimonies now. Strange testimonies now. Lord, I cry that you step in and do impossible miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ.
listen let me tell you there are things written here that except the writer if you read it you won't even believe that it can happen but i pray the god who has the all-seeing eye that can see every request a representation of every man's pain here i call on that god answer by fire answer by fire father there are issues here that are impossible with men some of them have deadlines that cannot be achieved humanly but in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i prophesy let there be strange miracles strange miracles now for all those connecting from whatever nation in the name of jesus we agree with you here the same fire that is on this altar through the internet to your various localities you receive the same testimony in the name of jesus every human agent that must partner with god for this request to be granted we force them from their hiding places to appear now in the name of jesus christ whoever must die for this request to be answered in the name of jesus the ground opens and swallows them Whoever must lack sleep for this request to be granted, we seize their peace and their sleep now. Hear me? Any mortal man that says over his dead body for you to testify, may God answer their prayers this night. the lord is opening my eyes i know they are still ministering outside let's be patient the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing trees i'm seeing trees in the realm of the spirit and i'm seeing these trees it's like a representation of families hold on please i'm seeing these trees like a representation of families and i'm looking at it i've never seen a tree bringing out blood human blood but in this vision i'm seeing a tree but i'm seeing human blood this is like a representation of families i decree and declare i don't know what family the devil is taking advantage of but i want to pray now i'm not prophesying i'm speaking for, for god to locate a family that must not go back this night in this situation lord i decree and declare wherever that family is right now in the name of jesus may the fire of god locate that family now may the fire of god locate that family now the lord is releasing an anointing hold on over people is for supernatural clarity and direction that's what i hear receive it now people are receiving it people are receiving it i prophesy clarity clarity god is answering questions now by the anointing if that fire comes on you you are receiving direction right now clarity clarity all the overflows clarity i release that anointing right now god is giving clarity listen i'm still praying it i'm seeing anointings that will translate as answers should i stay here or should i relocate somewhere else should i start the project or should i stop every confusion and anointing is answering it now an anointing is answering it now an anointing is answering it now
Alléluia. Alléluia. I'm praying for everybody, but I'm seeing particularly overflow one. An anointing for divine recovery. Divine recovery. Let me tell you something. Whatever leaves you can come back to your life. Are you hearing now? There are people who have lost things. I'm about to call it into your life now. And as that anointing comes on you, just know that it's your time of recovery. Lord, where are they? Where are those who have lost things that need recovery? Shakata kata kata. Shakata kata kata. Proskete kata. Everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere. Inside, outside, outside. The grace for recovery. The grace for recovery. I release that grace now over individuals and over families over individuals and over families individuals who have lost things lost things lost opportunities lost opportunities somebody is recovering an opportunity somebody is recovering something that left you hallelujah the angel of the lord is leading me here there are at least four people this grace for recovery must come upon you i'm seeing at least four people something you have lost is about to look for you something you have lost must look for you i force it to look for you by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah listen let me tell you I told you God answers you by bringing the anointing in your direction. That collision with the anointing is what will program your testimony. And all of a sudden you will see strange testimonies happening to you. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a strong man in four families that God is clearing out of the way. Listen. Listen. I don't say things like this lightly, but I'm seeing at least I'm seeing two women and two men who have sat for long on the destinies of people. They don't even know they are the ones. Where are they? Shakatos keta, brakatos kakatekatos, inside and outside. Whoever, in the name of Jesus, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, any man sitting on anybody's destiny here, you want to rise, but they stop you. You want to move, but they sit on your glory. I clear them out of the way now. Listen, you should attend a miracle service like this and know that you attended a miracle service. Like this mama, you see that? The devil wants to kill this woman with cancer. Eat her into pieces with cancer and destroy her. Your mother, you are the ones who brought her. Hold the mother and two of you come. You, two of you need deliverance first. Leave mama, come, come and stand. Someone should hold or get a seat for mama to sit. I've prayed for her, but I'm looking, I'm, this, is, this is your mother, two of you. I want to pray for you, eh? What you need, I know you brought your mother to be healed of cancer, but for you, God must heal you first. You will need deliverance. Eh? I'm not saying you are witches, but I have to pray for you. This is the instruction God is giving me. Father, in the name of Jesus, you will not allow these ladies to go down the way of trouble and sorrow and pain and discouragement. Therefore, I lay my hands on you. In the name of Jesus, fire over every wicked devil. In the name of Jesus, you came to stand in for your mother, but Satan has his own plan for you. In the name of Jesus. Kai. Wickedness is real. I held these ladies and the Lord showed me a vision. I'm seeing a man, a real herbalist, sitting down on the ground. And I'm seeing something that looks like a pot. They are writing names of people with blood blood not chalk they will write it and throw it inside the pot write it and throw it this is an Igbo family write it throw it inside the pot lord i don't know why you showed me this vision 
but in the name of Jesus I don't care where the family is but in the name of first my first prayer point is that that herbalist must die first in the name of Jesus Christ if you don't like the prayer point say amen to the one you believe but my first prayer point is that the wicked herbalist this is someone's destiny these people are here oh, I'm praying you may not even know you are the one I say it again whoever is that man on the ground writing whose name whether it's your marital destiny whether it's your breakthrough in the name of Jesus let the earth open and swallow that wicked man Who say na? Who say na? Who say na? Who is that, please? Let her come, please, quickly. You are who say na? What's your name? Huh? Who say na? I want to pray for you. Eh? I'll pray for two of you, but you are the one I want to pray for. What's your name? From where? What state are you from? FCT. You are from FCT. Do you believe in favor? Shout it. No, you are not shouting. You have shout favor. Wow. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a lot of bad luck for you and your family and this is what God is bringing for you. Favor. Who say now I want to pray for you? You are who say now to madam? Please come. You too? Is it mother and daughter or you are coming by yourself? You are, you are who say now to? I'll pray for you. But this is the lady I want to speak to. You love Jesus with all your heart. I want to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough for you and your family. Major breakthrough. I lay my hands right now and I command it. Let it happen right now. In the name of Jesus. Where are you from, my dear? Jalingo. Taraba. In the name of Jesus. The Lord gives you a miracle. Now. In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Every bad luck must leave your life now. Eh? Every bad luck must leave your life. I lay my hands and I command that spirit to go. This lady, only bad things look for her. There are people like that. When good things come, they just turn. There is a spirit that turns it away. Everybody is getting a job. Something that is simple. When is your turn? Let me tell you something. Hardship is not poverty. Hardship is a spirit. You get things, but something you can get for two weeks will take you four years. It's hardship. It's a cost. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You can't go, give God glory under that kind of condition. Simple things. You ask somebody out, I want to marry you. They answer you after four years. It's a cost. Are you, are you a demon? It's a cost. You start a building project, you finish after ten years. It's not a blessing. A hard life is worse than poverty. This is what the devil has put on the life of this lady. I, I take it away now. In the name of Jesus. And I use her as a point of contact. If there is anything on anyone's head that is responsible for bad luck happening. In the name of Jesus. I command whatever it is, let the fire of God come upon it now. Let me pray for you, man. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon you and I release favor. In the name of Jesus, favor. I'm seeing someone, you are into printing. Please, let's hurry up. We have to stop a few minutes now so that you are into printing. You print like... Um, posters, whatever it is you design, you print banners. Please, who is that person? I want to pray for you. You are into printing? Uh, I will pray for you, but the person I'm seeing, I'm not saying if you want to do it, if you are currently doing it, you are into it? For how long? Since my, my child was up. I was born into printing. Your father is a printer? Yes, sir. Where do you do it? Mina. 
Mina. Yes, sir. From Mina, you came here. I'm serving in, in Kagzara. Because the person I'm seeing is about to lose a lot of money. This is a contract or project that someone will give you. You will suffer and do it, and something will happen and destroy that whole job. And the person would say, You must pay. And it's going to cost you hundreds. I don't know. Well, may not be so much money to you, but I'm seeing something losses of at least this is a very big project that the person is even angry. I'm seeing something that even has to do with police because the person will say that you went and gave the job. All of you are into printing. What are you printing? I'm into printing. What printing? Books, everything in every press. Books. You yes. too? Your dad. All of you. I'll pray for you. You are standing in for somebody. We have to avert this. This time of recession is not the best time to get into trouble with police. Say amen. amen. You want to stop it now. So that whether it's your fault or not, when you are in trouble, you are in trouble. And you see, the way the devourer works is that he will wait just when I'm, I'm soon going to do that prayer. Where things work, just when the miracle is about to happen, something happens and destroys your life. I have to pray for you. Where is your dad? Huh? He stays in Abuja. He stays in Abuja. That's where you stay too? Yes. What's your name? Peace. Peace. I want to pray so that we'll stop trouble eh? in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we use your daughter as a point of contact to pray. Every trouble we avert now. You two, you are into the printing. Where? Abu Press. Abu Press. Yes. You work with Abu Press. Yes. Uh, you walk there now, it's not your own. Okay, but I will still pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Grace. The one for Mina, I release you. Eh? Can I pray for businesses? Yes, sir. Can I speak over businesses? Huh? You are into printing? Uh, what's your name? Hassan. 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 You, you, you need to... Um, well, I don't mean to embarrass you, but you are very shabby. Huh? You need to organize your life. You're a smart young man, but you see how you are looking like uh, a thief. You'll be smart when you are coming to the house of God. Listen, when you, people are, when you are coming to the house of God, don't embarrass him. This is a family, but you look smart. You don't dress, you see, no shoes, your hair is scattered, not combed. You look smart. Eh? You are my friend. I want you, it will be difficult for you to progress in life like this. It will be difficult for you to get a good wife like this. It will be difficult for you to get many good things. <laughs> Appearance is the seed for acceptance. Don't say it doesn't matter. Dress well. The house... Organize his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Organize his destiny. There is a spirit of excellence. Excellence is a spirit. You receive it in Jesus' name. I'll quickly pray for you. Doesn't matter where you're standing. You, you are into printing too. You too. In the name of Jesus, all those into printing, I lay my hands, Pastor Lawrence, grace for you. You will do well. You will get jobs in Jesus' name. There are some of us, what we need now, we are at a point in our lives where humanly speaking, we have paid our price. What you need is favor. And we are going to pray it. Is that true? Are there people like that here? There are others you have not paid your price. Paying for favor is putting you into trouble. What I need to pray for you for is grace not to be lazy. Laziness is also a spirit. Many of us don't know. It takes a lot of laziness. Um, something is leaving you. That devil must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go by the power of the Holy Spirit. Ah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You want to print in two? In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is somebody you so clothes. You are a serious tailor. But for a long time, this is from April. Everything just went down. I don't mean gradually 
down like this it's almost as if please who is that person you are a tailor you sew clothes you are a serious tailor but something just happened i'm seeing the month of april and everything just went down you are the one you sew clothes where Django. who knows you if you are a serious tailor they should know you here who are who, you've sewn people's clothes here Okay, Zango. Yes, there's a shop. I'm what ha then what happened? There's a shop. I'm working for somebody. So last month he sent me out and closed the shop for no reason. Last month? Yeah. Um, okay, I'll pray for you. If you did something wrong and they pursued you, when you come here, you ask for mercy. You don't complain. Even if it's my shop and you don't do well, I will drive you. Everybody wants to succeed. So let's, let's be very honest when we are before God. Praise God. When you are before God, if you tell the truth, that's even what will provoke his mercy. You understand? If, you, if, if I employ you, don't be embarrassed, my dear, but if I employ you and you are not bringing me anything and I'm paying you, why won't I downsize and drive you? So don't make it look as if because this person you are saying drove you. I'm not seeing the person as a wicked person. No. Something happened and it's your fault. Eh? You need the mercy of God. And God will help you. Don't make it. You see that if, if it's not revelation now, you will now blame someone else and say that person is wicked. My prayer for you is that God will bless you too. Huh? But please, don't be angry. I'm not seeing that person. That person did exactly what I would have done. Hmm? Father, in the name of Jesus, show your daughter mercy. If you need mastery, may God improve your skill. May God improve your value. And I pray for you in Jesus' name. God will not leave you hungry. The God we serve will change your story tonight. In the name of Jesus. You experience his mercy. You experience his grace. Madam, you are a tailor. Where? Samaru Market. Samaru. Market. You have your shop? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. You are a good woman, but you are always entering trouble with those you sew their clothes. You don't used to finish on time. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is showing me. Don't be embarrassed. This is a family. It may just need you are a very good tailor. I'm not I'm not against you. Don't feel bad. I'll send some people. That's what I'm seeing now. Yes, and there's problem now. They are even angry. Yes, sir. Because they are supposed to sew something for them for an occasion. Uh, and you didn't finish. And now the person is really angry. So these are some of the things we are talking about. As God steps in, let's allow his mercy. Just tell them sorry. Because you I want you would have been far more than you are now. But there is a spirit of delay sitting on your glory. Hold my hands. He must go now. To draw from you again, again. We've come to draw, 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 draw from you again. Listen, I want you to mark this woman. The kind of favor this woman will enter into from this night will surprise you. I'm saying it in the open. The Lord will give you favor. You are a tailor. Why are you just coming, my brother? We are praying for people here. Hmm? Father, in the name of Jesus, help our brother to succeed. Hmm? It's unbelief. If God is calling a case to help people, huh? you come out proudly. You don't stand there. You are ashamed. You understand you are a student and you are doing it you people too you are tailors see the tailors are now coming out we'll pray for your business please all tailors do a good job we believe in excellence don't say I'm praying for you publicly it's not just endorsing you to destroy people's clothes do a good job praise the Lord do a good job and we'll pray for you. There are too many people here. Two school of ministry wants to do their graduation gown. In two weeks, we are graduating our students, 243 students. Imagine that you get the contract to do their gown. If you do a good work, God will honor you. If you do a nonsense work, people will not endorse you just because it's the house of God. Praise the Lord. My brother, you want to study? Where? I'm a student. Oh, you are a student? Yes. Okay. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord grant you grace. God will raise help for you. In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you. 
by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are a tailor. In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you. You need deliverance. I command the spirit. Hi. This lady has oppression in your dream. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the Living God. You didn't come out for Taylor, you came out by the mercies of God. You see what I'm saying? This is the Taylor now. You see what? Let me pray for her, please. I see a wild animal. I'm looking at this lady and I'm seeing. Kai. Lord Jesus, mercy. I command every legal access Satan has over you. When this lady gets angry, she can swallow you. It's not her fault. It's a spirit. Be free now. Look how many people are holding one lady. In the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me advise you. If you want to enter a relationship, pray. If you want to marry, pray. You Listen to what I'm telling you. You see, the body of Christ, we don't listen. And we do, I'm not saying this lady is a witch. Please don't get me wrong. But I'm saying you should pray. Now, I'm not condemning her. But imagine that you are in a relationship with this lady and you married last week. You see this? If this lady is angry, that spirit will manifest. No matter how strong you are, she will beat the living daylight out of you. When that spirit leaves her, she will tell you sorry and then it will come back. This is what God is helping us to solve. Are we together? Now imagine you are a customer and just because you gave her 10,000, you insulted her. When that spirit rises, she will tear your cloth or beat you. Lord Jesus, we invoke your mercy upon her. In Jesus' name. Madam, you are a tailor too? Where? Judge. Judge. I'll pray for you. You are a tailor too? Where? You are in Nazareth State. In the name of Jesus, may God increase you. I speak to your business. Let it increase. Experience increase. Delay lives your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you are in business, please lift your hands. I want to speak over your life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. There is an anointing that makes people prosper. Why are you here? You are tailors. You are all tailors. What do you mean you are tailors? This gentleman, you are a tailor too? Okay, please come. You would have come out since, so that our time, you know, our time. You are all tailors. You are a tailor too? I hope we all know that this is the house of God. Please don't don't tell lies. If you are not a tailor here, I'm, the prayer will reach everybody. If you are not into tailoring, please don't embarrass yourself. If you are into tailoring, leave them, leave them, please. Provided you, are, I don't know what is this with God and tailors, but let's pray because God wants to increase you. You look like a tailor. You see, some of you don't look like tailors. You are, you, are not, you are not dressing like tailors. This gentleman is sharp and smart. He looks like a tailor. Ejimi teaches that you represent your brand. If you are a man of God, you show it by the anointing. If you are a tailor, if you are a public speaker, you show it by accuracy of communication. If you are a tailor, you are marketing your products at all times. You don't say, come to my shop. No. If I cannot see your tailoring prowess on you, then I shouldn't patronize you. Father, change the lives of these great people of ours. I'm just going to lay my hands and touch your head. And in the name of Jesus, I pray, may your business step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. As I lay my hands, please go back to your seat. In Jesus' name, that yoke leaves you now. In the name of Jesus, grace for you grace for you grace for you go and increase go and multiply my dear go and increase go and multiply increase madam multiply go and increase go and multiply go and multiply go and increase go and multiply go and increase go and multiply go and increase whether you're a tailor or not, after this people don't come out again. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In the name of Jesus. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In 
Jesus name if you are in business please any kind of good godly business lift your hands if you are in a bad business repent and do something honorable listen let me mention an example of bad business any business that has to do with smuggling drugs you are a thief you are not in business you stop it I don't care whether you are helping young guys around Samaru connect with a snuff that's not a business are we together there are businesses that are demonic writing exams for people writing jam for people writing I will never pray for you for increase that's not a godly business business that has to do with you having an affair with somebody's husband somebody's wife it's not a good business prostitution not a good business dirty business that has to do with ungodly things no no sir let's be very sincere before God but I pray sincerely from the depth of my heart the power to prosper the grace that can come on a business and turn it around overnight receive that grace right now receive that grace in the name of Jesus listen please I want you to be childlike enough and believe this prayer I'm praying for you and watch what God does some of you you don't have any clients you don't have any customers some of you overnight just by this prayer by miracle service October it will be like a dream I prophesy to you some of you you have the ideas what you need is capital I declare let somebody rise up who is willing to help you in the name of Jesus Christ some of you what you need is an endorsement of someone credible in your field so that it will open doors for you may someone who has gone ahead of you accredit you in the name of Jesus Christ some of you are trying to sell properties there's nobody to buy but if someone comes to buy it God will use it to honor you I call somebody to buy it now in the name of Jesus now I prophesy favor on everyone I decree and declare tonight the main auditorium overflow one two three those following online the kind of favor you have never seen in your life may my God make it happen in your life now receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Esther the village girl became Esther the queen through favor Ruth the hungry woman who was about to die became Ruth the wife of Boaz I don't know who I'm prophesying to but the favor that would change your story in one month I release it to you right now I release it to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ help that woman there please there are people from January till now you have never testified it's not that you don't want to come out but nothing has happened I stand before the God of heaven and I decree and declare may my God do something in your life that will force you to come and testify in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare I don't know what door has closed between you and your next level you have been knocking for a long time and that door has refused to open I open that door for you right now I open that door for you right now any terminal disease ravaging anyone's body you get healed right now two weeks you are back again you get healed three weeks you are back again I set you free right now help that I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ the only thing you know that happens in your family is fight and quarrel no love no joy when someone is about to rise a troublemaker comes I declare May the Prince of Peace 
May the Prince of Peace step into our homes now. Step into our families now. You are beautiful. You love God. You are a well-mannered lady. No husband. Jakotos kaparakata. Skalabata kato sata priyata. Sheketo koto I'm led to pray this prayer. You don't hear me pray it all the time, but I decree and declare. Every lady here, ready for a relationship, a godly one, I call your husband to your life now. Katos koto preske la paria patia. Every gentleman who wants to marry but no job, no money. The devil is you. <laughs> the devil is using lack of finances to rubbish your life in the name of Jesus. The God that can lift a man from a dunghill. May that God lift our brothers here right now. Any project you started this year that you were hoping to have completed by now and as it is you need a miracle I release the finisher's anointing upon you in the name of Jesus Christ all those writing exams shakatos kata prati alakatos in the name of Jesus the grace to not only write your exams but to finish well I release it upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ all our, our brothers and sisters who travel from several places to write post you and me in the name of Jesus we give you admission here I don't care who you know or who you don't know we give you admission here now hallelujah school of ministry students are writing their exams by nine o'clock tomorrow in the name of jesus grace for retention receive it there are other people writing promotion exams others there are, we have a lot of postgraduate students doing their phd work research you know their thesis whatever it is anything that has refused to come to completion in your life I, re I release upon you grace for completion in the name of Jesus the last prayer point and we are done give me two minutes I need to pray for our spiritual lives some of you started well with God but right now you need prayers you need serious prayers prayer zero fasting zero word life zero passion for the things of God zero you are not bad but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. The fire. The Bible says the spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord. The fire that must come upon the candle of your destiny. Sokoto Pakata. From the main hall here. Overflow one. Overflow two. Overflow three. Take a fresh fire for your work with God. Take a fresh fire for your work with God. Hear me some of you the moment you open your bible it's as if something happens and you close it back it's not normal i decree and declare passion for the word of god receive it right now some of you used to pray seriously you even used to attend the the weekly prayer department meeting but things happen you were offended with God and several things happen in your life and you say I'm, I've been praying but I've not seen result and you stop I release upon you grace to go back grace to go back to the prayer altar grace to go back to the prayer altar grace to go back to the prayer altar hear me those of you who as you are seeking money you are forgetting God as you are seeking marriage you are forgetting God it's not that you want to do so life is pushing you away from God whatever is drawing you away from God I cause that thing now listen we are rounding up God and prosperity can go hand in hand
God and marriage can go hand in hand. Whatever must make you leave God to get it is of the devil. May it live your life forever. Now keep your hands lifted. The last prayer point. God is looking for men and women of the spirit. Simple one minute prayers that will change your life now. Lift your hands. I want to pray for something to come upon these hands. Listen. Mm. There must be an evidence if you belong to this ministry. This is a supernatural ministry. This is a ministry of signs, wonders, diverse manifestations. I will not end this meeting without this impartation. I'm praying now at the count of three. Let an unction, let an ancient mantle land on someone's hand. One, two, three. Take it now. Healing anointing. Take it now. Prophetic mantle. Take it now. Grace for signs and wonders. Receive it. May your hands become healing hands. May your hands become miracle hands. Deliverance hands. Favor hands. Hear me? The grace to win souls like never before. I know it's old school. I'm both old and new school. Depending on the one that does not work. Soul winning is never old school. The Bible says he that winneth souls is wise. I pray for you. Grace for a dimension. Evangelism through signs and wonders. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. The last prayer for you. The mantle of honor. The grace that distinguishes a man above his contemporaries. I lay my hands on my head and I prophesy to you. Carry that anointing right now. Carry that anointing right now. Experience strange levels of honor. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise. Every expectation you brought here, whether I mentioned it or not, I'm agreeing with you now. Within 24 hours, let your miracle start. Within 24 hours, let your miracle start. Those of you who came from far, before you get to where you came from, you will collide with miracle after miracle. Testimony after testimony. Hallelujah. If there is anyone here in ministry, a man of God, a woman of God, you have a fellowship, you have a church, I pray for you. The fire that is here, carry it back to your church. Carry it back to your fellowship. Carry it back to your place of ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Wave your hands and give Jesus praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Everyone, keep standing. You are here. Our time is gone. Everyone, please stand. You are here. You are worshiping with us for the first time. Overflow 1, Overflow 2, and Inside. This is your first time. Please make your way here. Overflow 3, just make your way to the front of your projector stand and look at me. Let's honor them, Koinonia, quickly. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please keep standing. Two minutes, we are done. Let's honor them, they are coming. May God bless all of you who continually invite people to come. Listen. Let me tell you one truth. I am very honored to have the privilege to lead this campaign of bringing the reality of the power and the presence of God to people. 
when you invite people you don't necessarily make a ministry bigger yes you increase them in numerical strength but the truth about it is that you are giving people an opportunity to have encounters hallelujah for all of you who take out time to invite people may the god i serve bless you clear the way for them as they come hallelujah dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye